Tony King, follow us. Good morning. Good to see everyone. We are officially live. It is Monday, fun day. We getting after it. We are halfway through the month. It is tax season. Hopefully everyone is up and at it. We hit the bong already. We are officially live. Good to see you guys. We up and at it on a Monday. Big up Boo Hunter. We in the building. Let's get it. Of course, this morning going to be a small one. Uh, we will uh, cover a little bit. Uh, as far as uh, sneaker news is concerned, we'll definitely get caught up uh, with the latest and greatest. Uh, we got a few things to talk about. We got a couple new Sambas uh, going to be dropping. We got another collaboration coming with Reebok and Hot Wheels. Uh, that one's going to be for the kiddos. We'll definitely unpack that. Uh, also, the uh, Nike Air Max Plus Beach Sunset uh, also going to be releasing exclusively in Asia. It is a nice colorway. I definitely wanted to unpack that one uh, as well this morning. We'll get caught up with some of our SBs uh, that we got dropping in the next two months, of course. Uh, we also got the big money savings that's also hitting a lot of skate shops. Tomorrow, we got the big Pringles Crocs collection uh, going to be dropping as well for all the Pringles lovers or if you just love a croc boot uh, we'll also take a look at some of those pictures there's I believe two different silhouettes that are going to be dropping uh, as well uh, we'll definitely get caught up with the drip looks like we got two pretty good collaborations this week uh, Palace and Avisu are collaborating on Friday and then we got Nike and Supreme I particularly am going to be pumped up uh, for the Nike and Supreme one there is a pretty dope denim vest uh, part of that collection as well there's all also, a decent, um, I would call them probably like a nylon or a windbreaker pant. We'll unpack the drop list uh, as we get into the stream uh, as well. Uh, pretty decent items uh, this week. We also have the Air Darwin Nike SB. I know we've been waiting for that one all the way back uh, to 2023. That one also going to be dropping on Thursday. We'll take a look at the four different colorways uh, going to be dropping. Uh, looks like they are going to be pretty limited, so we're definitely going to have to get in there, spread them open, get in, get out, hit it, quit it, get that W, and then we're going to celebrate a little bit. You know it's smoke puff clouds in the chat. Piggies to the ceiling. Big up old school. Uh, dang, how did I get your hair? <laughs> this, Yeah, this is um, just uh, rolling out of bed. Yeah, we didn't really have time uh, to get too uh, ready this morning. Gup had to go out uh, around 6.30. Uh, and then I just ended up kind of staying out with him. And then when I got back, I just took off the beanie. And then it was uh, already time to go live. Time got a little bit away from me this morning. The weather warms up a little bit, and you just go crazy, I guess. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, definitely looking like a pretty uh, nice day again. Then it should dip. I believe it'll probably dip into the 50s for a couple days, and then it should work, uh, warm back up to make it feel a little bit more like summer. Uh, as well, I got shorts on today. There we go. Yeah, hopefully rolling in a W. Happy Jackie Robinson Day. Happy J-Rob Day. Of course, uh, we are about 15 minutes away from the uh, drop itself. We'll go ahead and get the numbers up on the big board. And then we'll just talk a little bit about just this week in general, uh, kind of what you guys are on the lookout for, if you're going to cop anything. And then I'll kind of let you know what I got on my mind uh, as well. Uh, probably going to be a light week this week uh, for me, of course, unless we can start picking up some of our uh, previous sneakers we maybe missed out on, of course. Uh, it is a buyer's market. I might put a couple low balls out there uh, and see how that works. Uh, probably the only thing I'm going to be picking up this this week, um, at least for the tentative drop schedule, is probably going to be that Darwin low. And I'll also probably pick up some uh, drip uh, as well. We got a good dime collection. Uh, going to be dropping in two weeks. Uh, they got a pretty good drop list. There are a couple pairs of pants uh, that I do got my eye on, so I'll probably hold off at least uh, on the bottoms until uh, we do get that dime drop because uh, stuff is pretty fairly priced, and like I say, they got a couple uh, good pairs of pants. We'll go over everything uh, when we go over the Supreme and Palace drops. We'll also take a look at some of the dime uh, collection as well uh, once we get going. Uh, but a lot of good skate pants over there. A couple good pants over on Supreme this week uh, as well. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, punch it out. Uh, once again, let me go ahead and uh, pop my windows up. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop on over. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, the beanie hairdo, a little bit rough for sure. The hat head. <laughs> plus, plus sleeping overnight. It kind of made it a little funky donkey. We had some work if we wanted to, to straighten that out. I do got a hat over here, though, uh, in case it gets real gnarly. <laughs> there we go. Rio, good morning. Let's get it. Good to see you guys again. 13 minutes away uh, from the Jackie Robs. I'm going to go ahead and, and get our windows uh, just open. Uh, it looks like it's going to be first come, first serve. Uh, if you guys are going to be going for the Air Max ones. I'm going to be here in, in spirit. Uh, spirit only this morning. I'm going to pass on the uh, Jackie Robs. We're going to hold out for uh, a couple of those collaborations we got coming up. I definitely want those Action Brunson uh, 1906s. I have a feeling I might have to um, at least cop a colorway or two probably uh, on the aftermarket. So I will also be keeping an eye on those bad boys uh, as well. Uh, but, yeah, the Darwin Low old Dennis Rodman shoe. Uh, well, it's a low top of the old uh, Dennis Rodman shoe, the Darwin High, uh, originally. Uh, we can take a look at some of those pictures back when he had them on as well uh, into this hour. But we do got four colorways that are going to be dropping. We got a new SB uh, we're going to be taking a look at. Of course, next month, we got a lot of good collaborations on the way. Uh, definitely probably want to be patient. I would say patience is going to be key uh, for the next month or so. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop on over. Again, the Darwin Low uh, SB collab. Going to be four different colorways. They did not go very hard, at least in my opinion, in reconstructing the silhouette. It's mostly just making them into a low top and then, um, you know, keeping the midsole the same and uh, touching up, I guess, the materials on the upper. Uh, most of the Darwin Lows I saw, at least in the 90s, where most of them were leather. Uh, but we'll go ahead and pop on over, see if we can get a couple uh, pictures back in the day when D-Rod uh, had them on as well. He usually wore, a, I remember, a white. I thought it was white, black, and navy, uh, if I can't remember. Uh, if you guys are just getting here, good morning. Big up, big up. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, pop this one up on the big board. Yeah, there it is right there. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, get my screen up here. Uh, these were the OGs right here. Uh, before Travis Scott had the backward swoosh, our boy uh, D-Rod right here. Got him on, on court right here, stretching, stretching those hammies. Before going in and grabbing probably 30, 40 rebounds. But, yeah, nice-looking shoe. Definitely a nice looking shoe. I do like the low top version better. I think I would have liked them to reconstruct the midsole a little bit better. Even even if, if it was going to be an SB collaboration, I feel like we could have probably at least vulcanized, made the midsole a little bit thinner and then vulcanized um, right around the high stress areas. A lot like the Shod Wears or some of the newer sneakers, a lot of Vans sneakers also uh, kind of have that those same materials uh, on the upper. I would have preferred that. I think they would have looked a lot smoother, too. I think that midsole would have blended in just a little bit nicer. Um, and then, of course, I would have put different materials. I wouldn't have made them all canvas. Maybe one of them canvas. Um, but I would have at least made one leather, one suede. You know, maybe even just done one new buck and uh, done a variety of materials. Uh, but nonetheless, that's not what they did. Uh, and they just <laughs> went all canvas. Uh, so that is what we're going to get hit with. Uh, but nonetheless, I... Probably if I can't get the camouflage one, the camouflage ones, in my opinion, are the best ones far and above all the other colorways. But I think if I can't get that one, I might go for the yellow one. Tennis ball yellow. Yeah, just so we uh, don't lose them late at night in case we really turn it up, which we've, we've been doing lately, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> right? Oh, there we go. I got backwards swoosh. He goes, it's a false, Travis. It's a tiny one. It's a miniature, miniature version. Uh, back in the old Ace Ventura, or not the Ace Ventura days, the uh, Austin Power days. Remember Mini Me? <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, we're going to go pop on over, I believe. Um, yeah, you just had a variety of colorways. We could probably go down the rabbit hole uh, as far as nostalgia goes. Uh, probably do that maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, maybe when we do the... 
uh, tier list. Uh, we'll go kind of down the Nike Air Darwin rabbit hole. Uh, but just to pull up the nostalgic OG colorway, I thought they would have maybe played off a little bit more of that OG colorway. Uh, but let me go ahead and uh, pop my screen on over so we can see it. Uh, but they didn't go, like, they didn't have an ode to any of the OG colorways. It's looking uh, from the first uh, looks at this bad boy. Uh, but, yeah, this is the OG colorway right here. All right. Yeah, perforated white leather on the upper uh, instead of the canvas, uh, coupled with white and black ballistic mesh uh, to keep the shoe breathable. I don't think we even, um, I don't think they also have the perforation on the, uh, on the Darries. Um, I could be wrong, but just to go compare these. Yeah, no perforation on the side either. I mean, it is made with canvas, uh, so they'll be a little bit more breathable. But the premium materials would have been nice. The premium materials would have definitely taken it uh, to the next level. H have we seen them on Stock X yet is the question. Uh, do we got the uh, Darwin? Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got a bunch of different uh, colorways. Got the OG black Darwin right here. I almost like the... I don't know. Which ones do you guys like better? The high top or the the short one? Yeah, I don't think the Supreme ones are up on the... Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look and see if they got them up here yet. Yeah, not seeing them. Uh, they'll probably have a uh, load them up sometime this week. There, we I know, boo! I, the Nike Gear Fire! I know, I know, I know. We got to go t open that one up. Dude, that... <laughs> I don't wear a lot of jeans. But I might have to get out the old Canadian tuxedo this summer. We might have to go blue jean on the top and blue jean on the bottom. Maybe even like a two-tone. I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely feeling the denim this year. I think it's going to be one of those denim summers. <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and pop on. Oh, I'm serious. I really like that. It's probably my favorite item is the vest. But I like the pants that are tie-dye as well, dude. The bagginess, the, the fit on those pants is like perfect. And the best color, I think it got to be the red one. Dude, I love that vest. I don't know why. The white one's dope, too. I don't really like the Nike spell out on the back. I would have rather had just a little check on the, the collar. I don't, I don't need that Nike spell on the back. I like where Supreme is. I like where Nike is. Um, I would have definitely preferred it just kind of OG like that. I also like the light-colored one. I just don't really like the red swoosh, how it looks on that light cream color. But nonetheless, dude, oh, my dad back in the day had this, he made this coat out of like different kinds of like jeans and it was like a puffer, like a big bomber jacket. It was for like when it got negative temperature out and you had to like snow blow or go out ice fishing and be out on the ice or be out in that, you know, uh, negative temperature. I, and it, I, this kind of reminds me of it from back in the day. So, Yeah. I kind of, yeah, the pink hoodie's fire, too. I like the pants and the the vest. Oh, uh, the bet. Yeah, the pink hoodie has got a great color. Um, kind of a washed color uh, on top of it. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. They'll, these are the best. I like those pants for sure. They just fit so nice. Anyone that I, I've seen them on, it, it's had a, a pretty nice baggy fit. Uh, just to go ahead and take a, a little bit closer look, we, we might as well pop on over to Supreme and take a look at uh, them on, actually on. We'll definitely do a, a tier list this week uh, as well. Once we get the, the full drop list, we'll definitely drop that one uh, as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and go through. They got the mesh button up here. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like that, but... For skating in the summer, especially until I get my arm fixed, it's it's tough when, I, when my shirts get soaking wet with sweat to pull them off me uh, with this arm. So I like to have my, my bottom layer a button up so I can just unbutton it, you know, and get it off pretty easily. Uh, we will be getting the, the shoulder fixed this summer, but until we do, uh, we got to, uh, you know, <laughs> 
work with whatever works for us. All right. Yeah, we're just about three minutes away. Just about three minutes away. Going to be kind of a short morning this morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop on over to the Nike Sneakers app if anyone is going uh, for the Jackie Robs. Uh, they are, it looks like, going to be first come, first serve. They are pretty limited. Again, more limited than even the Kobe's uh, over the weekend. We got about 19,000 uh, in total, 19,876 to be exact. Uh, Bigfoot gang looking really, really limited. Size 13, they're giving you a little bit extra stock, uh, but compared to uh, sizes 10 through 12, it uh, really is of only about half uh, of that stock. Uh, men's 11, we got 2,364. Men's 10 and a half, we got 2,380. Men's 10, we got 2,094. Uh, men's 9 and a half, we got 1,534. And then men's 9, 1,306. Uh, they're going to be dropping it about two minutes again over on Nike. Sneakers app, baby. Grounding and pounding. Good luck <laughs> to anyone uh, going for the Jackie Robs. Uh, once again, uh, we'll go ahead and pop them up. Anyone else going for these bad boys uh, in the chat? Um, yeah, prices kind of all over the board. I was going to try to pick, I don't know. Um, yeah, try to pick up maybe a size 10. There we go. Got the gum bottoms as well. Also got the gum bottoms. Uh, we're just about a minute away. Just about a minute away for everyone. Uh, that is uh, going to be copping. Sending out good luck and good vibes. There we go, baby. Uh, man, my cousin is lame <laughs> as fuck, for real. Uh, you stayed 15 minutes from Black Sheep Skate Shop in Charlotte, and they just did an store release on those big money SPs, and you'd be too lazy to go get them. Damn. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the skate shops uh, have been getting them in over the weekend uh, as well. We'll go over some of the list of shops that I know had sizes in store uh, today as well. Yeah, sending out good luck and good vibes uh, for the Jackie Robs. Let's get her done uh, for everyone going for these bad boys. Good luck, good luck. We're just about a few seconds away. Just about a few seconds away. I think I'll uh, at least attempt on one of my accounts. Try to get that thing, you know, swinging back in, in the winning direction. Uh, right now, it's been taking L's all morning. There it goes. Ground and pound, baby. Ground and pound. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and put up the stock numbers. Uh, right there on the big board, we're going to open up one more. Uh, app over on the Nike sneakers. Uh, again, going to be first come, first serve uh, for the Jackie Robs. Good luck, guys. Good luck, good luck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably, yeah, we'll probably just stay uh, on that window. I'm going to enter over here. All right, yeah, we got one more open. I um, believe we are not signed in on that one. All right, there we go. Yeah, size 10, 2,000, uh, 9.5, 1,534. There we go. Yeah, uh, some pass, yeah. I feel like maybe 60, 40, 70, 30. Uh, looks like 70 on the pass side. All right. Yeah, more of a, a good collector shoe. Yeah. Especially if you got all the other Jackie Robs, which I'm still trying to get the dunk. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the dunk. All right, there we go. I I do really like the. I do really enjoy the the tongues on these. Um, I believe you can take the tongue off of them. Yeah, that that forty two there. Uh, the diamond yeah, it looks to be pretty nice suede on the upper as well. A little primo. Primo materials on the upper. Uh, good luck, everyone. Let us know if you finesse a dubski. These would definitely go good with the Supreme drop this week. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, the black pants over on Supreme would probably be... You'd be wear, able to wear them with a lot more, but I feel like... Uh, the, the red, white, and blue ones... <laughs> The tie-dye ones are the ones to go for. We'll have to see. We'll take we'll take a closer look at those as well. Like if you put on all white uppers, put on one of those like that dark tux, that jean vest <laughs> with those pants. Yeah, that's that's the Paris fit this this summer. 
There we go. <laughs> Watching it at home on the TV. <laughs> Just in all the USA garb. I like it. Fuck it, eh? There we go. At least for the basketball and the and the skateboard. Actually, probably the skateboarding is probably the only sport I'll watch. I love um, I love watching basketball, but sometimes in the Olympics I don't catch all the games. But I, I we'll see. This year I think um, it's going to be a pretty interesting summer on the basketball side. There we go. The Dubs coming in hot. <laughs> Here we go. The Diamondbacks look like snuck away with a win. Yeah, Diamondbacks looking a little bit better uh, the last couple years. Uh, nonetheless, congrats on the W, my boy. Happy J-Rob Day. First W of the day. Let's get him. Got him. <laughs> Congratulations on the dub ski. I do believe uh, we got, yep, there we go. Congrats. Uh, 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 uh. Baby, I got your money. <laughs> there we go. Congrats go, again. Go, go, go. That's what you see on the road. She ran it like carnival. I don't need the impossible. There we go. Uh, yeah, the dubs. I mean, I'm sure uh, they're going to be probably be few and far between. What what size did you get, Vu? Size, a bigger size? All right, there we go. Uh, hitting the quick refresh. Again, uh, first come. Yeah, the, mine already showing sold out. Mine already showing sold out. Yeah, that was going to be a quick one. I would imagine, especially with that stock, If I mean, if we have, would have a handful of victories or a handful of Ws, I would definitely be surprised. Yeah. Uh, Hunter, um, what size? Uh, well, any size... Uh, would be decent, um, but here let me let me put the sizes up on the uh, up on the mine monitor. There we go, size eleven. Let's go, hell yeah, dude! I I want to see these when you get them in hand, Vu. Definitely, I bet there's a lot. Like when you get them in hand, I guarantee these are gonna be way way even nicer, for sure. Because all the other ones were really nice. As well, and I do like I, I do like the colors of them. I would have probably liked the only thing I would have probably did different is, like maybe put like a white, kind of like a cartoon outline. I think around the swoosh, uh, might have also blended in with the midsole. But I do I really like the midsole white and then the the mud guard. I kind of like that white on white. Nice color blocking as well. <laughs> Hell yeah, he finessed one. Let's go. Is that the only one we got in the cut this morning? In the cut. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> all right. Um, let's go ahead and pop on over. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, just go ahead and do that. All right, just for uh, just for fun and games. Yeah, just for fun and games. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah, we, we went for it. We went for that slog be seconds. Trying to pick one up. Hell yeah. Congrats. Congrats. That's what I like to do. Turn that frown upside down, baby. We took the Colby L's on the chin and we put it in first gear and we went all in, baby. Now we're starting to see those W's. Now we're starting to see those W's, which is good because we're just... About to get into our first uh, first three weeks of flossing season. As you guys know, we've waited for that one for a while. Unfortunately, they don't have us ramped up for our 420 drop. Uh, but we can always turn it up. Uh, looks like what? 420 is going to be on, is that Friday? Saturday? Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely make the best out of that one. We'll definitely make the best out of that one. At least for right now. Probably uh, my eye on the prize. Vu, we can uh, <laughs> we can go get some matching wardrobe. That supreme drop is perfect for these shoes. Me right? Will goes on to the next. Yeah, if you came up a little bit short, don't get too frustrated about it. Again, always a banger on the corner, especially our month of May. That is our biggest month so far. We got the Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks going to be dropping in the black and red colorway. Also. 
uh, the brown and cream colorway. Uh, we have the Travis Scott Jordan one, Canary Yellows. Uh, we got the Futuros. Uh, also right around the corner, we got the J Balvin Jordan 3s dropping next month. Of course, we got the Industrial 4 or Military Blue uh, Jordan 4s. Also dropping next month, we got the Space Jam 11s. Uh, we got the Bryant Giles A6. We also got those Action Brunson New Balance that haven't dropped yet. So, yeah, we're in good shape. We are in good shape. Save those pennies. No reason to frantic buy or get frustrated. We'll hang out, take a look at everything else that's going to be dropping this week, and get a new game plan, baby. Get a new game plan. We're about two weeks away from opening day. Uh, the first day when I go start that other job where we go uh, – we go do the audio for the baseball team, the old Hot Tots. Looking forward to that one coming up as well. Hopefully you get a nice spot out there, get a nice little tan uh, as we're putting in that work. You know it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Strike out, you're out of here. That's three. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, one of my coaches, my ninth grade basketball coach, his brother, which he would come up like when he would take vacation, then his brother would come up. His name, his last name was Cedarstrom. He was an umpire for the American League, and he was behind the plate, like the guy that calls balls and strikes. We didn't get along great, but it was kind of a, like a love hate relationship. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, the only umpire I ever knew, only umpire I ever knew, well, CD's old brother. You know, and then when we would go to a Twins game. I actually knew the umpire and none of the players. <laughs> How crazy is that? Uh, it's kind of wild. All right. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, coming up a little bit short this morning. Coming up a little bit short. Um, I am going to go. I think I'm going to go uh, put on some pepper grip tape uh, this afternoon. Um, again, I failed to uh, go put my trucks on yesterday, so today definitely going to be the day to do it. I, I've been using my backup. I have an old LibTech skateboard from, I mean, I've had that one deck for probably like seven, eight years. I just haven't used it a lot. I freaking was using that on Saturday, and I busted that one <laughs> as well. I busted the tail on it. So, yeah, we definitely got to get over it. Bape site dropping those Adidas lawsuits. On 420? Dude, hey, hey, we got to check it out. We got to check it out. I'm glad you guys uh, could be up and at it, could be here with us this morning. I know uh, it's been a kind of a, a low-key morning, slower morning, so I appreciate you guys tapping in. We'll definitely get caught up with the latest and greatest. If you can tell, I just uh, kind of rolled out of the bed myself. Uh, we'll definitely get caught up. Glad you guys could be here uh, as well. We got lots to talk about. Uh, even this week, there's not a ton of crazy drops, but there's a ton of low-key drops. Uh, that'll be pretty good. And then tomorrow, baby, we got the Pringles team. Once you pop, okay, you can't stop. Or so they say. There we go. Well, but yeah, these are going to be dropping tomorrow. I might go ahead and get a Pringles boot. <laughs> I might go ahead and get a Pringles boot just to test them out at the skate park. I mean, there would be nothing like putting a 12-ouncer on each ankle. And maybe a quarter sack in the back and drop it in. And seeing how those things rip. Especially on my new setup. <laughs> Especially on my new setup. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Dude, especially if I can get the Canadian tuxedo this week. Oh, man, I might wear that. I might wear that denim no shirt underneath. <laughs> the summer fit. <laughs> Yo, the denim, no shirt underneath with the Pringles boots. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and look at that vape uh, drop as well. Uh, once we get into it, let's take a, a quick gander. Uh, what's going on on 420? I mean, I don't know. Like, the more pictures I see of this vape drop, the more I'm kind of, I don't know. I didn't, I mean, I always want to cop something on 420, right? So, are they that bad or, yeah, should we just wait for the corn ones? Dude, these are, uh, yeah, 420 drop. I do like the, the camo on the inside, but yeah, I just wouldn't wear these. I don't know, is that too much? 
it's probably really not my style. I do kind of like how they're, it looks like the, the Adidas original is a little bit fatter, does it not? Does it look like they reconstructed this silhouette a little bit, though? Make it, made them a little bit more like a skate shoe? Um, because the, the sock liner is pretty dope. I know that's kind of a, like a small thing on a shoe, but to me, I love a good sock liner, especially the Amamanier ones or, you know, some of the old Joe Fresh good sock liners with the satin, the Chanel stitching. I mean, those are just feel like a million bucks on the, on the feet, you know, especially with a new pair of socks. Ooh. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see like the inside of these. Uh, it looks like the Paris, remember the Paris SBs uh, that dropped not too long ago. They had that really satin material on the inside. It looks like they put the nice material on the inside, but they didn't do the Chanel stitching. You need a nice little stitch in there to kind of hold on to your sock a little bit. You know, make them a little less slippery so they're not like ice. Um, but yeah, I think these are going to be passes. I mean, we'll have to see. Again, we got... Uh, the logo embroidered on the white heel, co-branded silver eyelets, and a jumbo Adidas trefoil debossed on the white tongue. Uh, while the Bape exclusive pairs come in black, line camo with gold detailing. Okay, so the ones that are exclusive to Bape are going to be the, it looks like the black ones. All right. I didn't know if I could tell the difference. Uh, between those two, baby. OJ, you pick up OJ VP. <laughs> Let's go. Good to see you guys. Big up, big up. Um, yeah. So we got the the camo pair. Uh, if if the shoe was black and maybe they had the the kind of cream camouflage, that might look. I probably like this one the best. Like if I were to pick one, uh, I just don't know if I like how. Yeah, is this black? It, I thought it was green, but yeah, it looks like that one's going to be the exclusive debate one. I kind of like the all black one. They're on the right. You only, you see them there on the on the corners of the picture. That might be the best one. But um, with that said, I don't really think I need a pair. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> My boy. There we go. Monday, fun day. We in the cut. The flock. Glad you could be here, player. Glad you could be here. Well, if you look at my hair, <laughs> we just roll out of bed as well. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. We're all here together. Celebrating Vu's big dub on the old on the old Jackie Robs. You know it. Hitting one in the cut. Hitting one in the cut. VP, dude. Yeah, the corn Adidas. Especially if you like this silhouette, I feel like Corn was the the first person to make, especially the Campus 80, nice and fat and skatable, for sure. And they're also doing uh, pretty good on the aftermarket. Uh, both colorways, even that white colorway, uh, which I definitely liked. I would say the black uh, uh, Corn one better. I probably like the shoes uh, from this drop. Yeah, these prices probably just going to, Stay up around 300, maybe even tiptoe a little bit north because the stock was so limited uh, as well. Uh, L-E-L, did I hit? I took the L. I took the L, unfortunately. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. Robbie, my boy. What's good, he player? There we go. Five days away from the big weekend. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Big old salute for my family out on the west coast, to the east, north to south. All the way across the pond. Let's get it, baby. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. We're getting after it. Let's go ahead and pop up all right over here. All right. There we go. Good morning. All right. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and uh, get our windows locked and loaded. Uh, J-Mac, our granddaughters were born. Yes. No. Whoa, whoa. Rob, you had twins? Oh, man, imagine, Rob, if that would have been on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Let's go, man. Prayers with your family. Congratulations. Being the new grandpa. You see a grandpa, Rob, now. <laughs> Let's go, man. He's going to be the best Santa Claus in, like, five years. <laughs> the kiddos are going to love it for sure. 
Let's go. Congratulations. Yeah, wish you happy and healthy. Hell yeah. God, my my aunt and uncle had their twins. My two cousins, they had them on April Fool's Day. And I remember when I was younger, them telling my parents, and both my parents, like, w- did not believe them and, like, wouldn't even go, like, weren't going to go down to the hospital because they just thought my uncle was full of shit and was giving them an April Fool's joke. Oh, we had twins. Because they didn't know until they actually came out. So that was pretty crazy. Congratulations, my boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> the family tree is growing. <laughs> For sure, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Congrats. Hell yeah. Wishing wishing a healthy life. Healthy wife, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He goes, my mom is a grand, uh, grandmother. What a blessing. What a blessing. I can't wait till eventually I am. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa Mac over here. No. Oh. I'll probably be the only grandma where <laughs> they like, won't trust me to, like, drive them around in my car yet. <laughs> yeah, They can come over to your crib, but no driving around, Jay. Okay. <laughs> there we go. But, yeah, by, by summer's end, it looks like uh, we should be getting the whip. Driver's license back uh, in possession. Really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. At least till the first fender bender. No, Rob, I became an uncle in first grade. Damn. Dude, I had some friends I grew up with out in the country. Uh, the Vomers. I believe Kirk and Jason. Kirk was younger than Jason, and he was his uncle. And and uh, Justin was older, too. So their uncle ended up, or they were older than their uncle. How weird is that? Their uncle was two years younger than them in that family. As well, but they had a big family, so yeah, kind of wild. <laughs> it was an uncle, and we were just figuring out what a kid was. <laughs> Poor Kirk, man. Poor Kirk. Yeah, probably missed out on a lot of Beaver because you know having to having to watch out after the boys, you know, <laughs> having to be the responsible one for sure. Have a niece that is older. Then my brother, wild. Yeah, that's kind of how, how their, their family was uh, as well. Grandma had, had the, the last kid when they, all the other brothers were like, you know, 15 or 16. For sure. <laughs> uh, my niece was born in November. My brother was born the following July. Damn. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I got a pretty big family on on my on my dad's side, like with cousins, and there was nine of them. Um, and now, um, probably most of them probably had anywhere from like three to five kids. So there's a lot of cousins I forget names and stuff. Especially now that my cousins are having kids, it's like how in the hell do you remember all of it? And then, you know, some of them you don't even recognize after like two years of not seeing them. You're like, who in the hell is that? <laughs> right is that the cousin <laughs> for sure hey hell yeah jewel coming in hot <laughs> my boy let's get it good to see you player smoke puff clouds in the chat let's go the week is fire or at least we're, we're picking up right where we left off on saturday i know a couple of you guys hey speaking of if you left the chat a little bit early on uh saturday uh we did the poll how many people hit Kobe's on Saturday? And our poll was at 60%. 60% of you guys got a dub on the Kobe's, and only 40% of us took L's, which is awesome. So congratulations. Bang on those chests a little bit. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well, well deserved. <laughs> there we go. A yunkle. You know it. You know it. Heck yeah. Yep, it's a big responsibility being the old uncle. <laughs> For sure. All right. All right, let's go ahead. 
uh, and pop one more window up. Let's go ahead and pop, pop up those Jackie Robs. Kind of watch the, the these prices just kind of rise on here. Again, if you did get a pair uh, and you are wanting to get rid of them real quick, I would I would hold the line on these. Um, again, the um, the stock was super limited. Um, I mean, we haven't seen stock this limited since um, uh, even can't remember what the Kobe's were, but probably a, an SB drop, about 19,000, 20,000. Yeah, good W, good W there, especially uh, on some of the bigger sizes. Nice finesse. Congratulations once again on the Dubski. Boop, boop. All right, we'll probably hang out here for just a little bit, and then we'll pop on. Uh, take a look at everything else that's going to be dropping this week. I think Thursday will probably be most people's uh, next big day. Um, I mean, of course, unless we get hit with a shock drop, restock, something you know we weren't prepared for. But we'll definitely hold on to our shorts. 420 week, you know, you never know what we're going to get. Always keep those shockers up, baby. Always look out for the best. There we go, uh, which is always exciting. I'm sure we'll get, a, you know, a good Moon Dust Studio drop uh, as well. We got some new SBs to look at. We got some new SBs to look at, and I'm going to need your guys' opinion. Of course, we got the Olympics coming up, which means we got a couple good collaborations coming up. What about the Neapolitans? I got to say, I, I mean, I don't mind this color, but that gallery department, Geoff Rowley Vans, that one's got a good, you know, pink and brown colorway. Um, I like a little bit more. Um, I was able to pick up a couple pairs of those, but if you don't have that one, again, um, I do like the materials on this already. I don't love the color blocking when they when they kind of make it like the like the run the jewels uh, on my SPs. I I just prefer uh, everything to look the same. You know, everything to be symmetrical. So I'd rather have, um, you know, the heel. Uh, this one, the same color as the vamp right around here. Kind of like how, like, the pandas or Crenshaw Skate Clubs or most of your SBs end up looking. I just think the color blocking just looks a little bit more fresh. But nonetheless, I, I don't think it's a bad color. I don't think they're bad materials. Uh, it's going to be a pass for me just because I do have two pairs of that gallery department. Uh, Vans, Geoff Raleigh, which I absolutely love. Um, but we got, yeah, the Neapolitan uh, also going to be coming out um, as well. Uh, speaking of, uh, we also got the dinner plates. I do like the Neapolitans better than the dinner plates. Probably because I already have the Sour Apple SB, so I don't really need an, you know another green color that, that is similar. Um, but, yeah, the dinner plates and the Neapolitans also going to be dropping. And then we got another. Um, do we get one more? No, that, that's going to be. Yeah, that'll be it right there. All right. I would imagine these are probably going to be dropping sometime uh, this summer as well. Uh, we can definitely uh, see those bad boys dropping. There we go. Big up straight, too. Let's go. Uh, J Mac, uh, the box on 420. <laughs> the Pineapple Express drink. Oh, I did, old school, I don't have a jack in the box <laughs> up here, unfortunately. Dude, that sounds delicious. I like some good, a good pineapple, some coconut, a little bit fruity, you know. Uh, very, very good at pouring Mai Tais uh, as well. Bahama Mamas kind of come from more of a. I would say an island background uh, when it comes to pouring drinks. I worked at Trader Vic's for a while. Learned how to make a couple bangers with, with that rum, with that dark rum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of my favorite, though, are mojitos, especially in the summer. Big mojito, big mojito fan uh, as well. Speaking of mojitos, those high noons, if they would probably have a little bit of a mint taste, those high noons are, ooh, those are good. Absolutely. Uh, probably since uh, the Jackie Air Force one, uh, they were more limited stock uh, than the Air Max one. Oh, yeah. How much are those going for, Boo? Uh, my grandpa had kids later in life. I have a 21-year-old on. I'm 39. What? Damn. 
Yeah, that's even. Um, yeah, that's uh, even like more years apart. Because I think Kirk and uh, the the guys I knew were only like four years apart or something. <laughs> For sure. Damn, uh, those both will be in a case right next to my. <laughs> Right next to my futures. Hell yeah. I need those Olympics. Hell yeah. Let's go. What up? Big up, big up. Straight to SB Rom. Good morning, fam. How do we do on the dubs? Anyone else get dubs? It's been pretty slim pickings. <laughs> Damn, no jack in the crack. No. No. No, we struggle up here. We str- we don't have jag in the box. We don't have uh we don't have in and out. Oh man. Um, we don't have Chipotle. I mean, there's Chipotle's in North Dakota, but not where I'm at. I think there's one in Fargo, which is, uh, our biggest city in the state. It's on the, uh, North Dakota, Minnesota border. (laughs) But yeah, no Jack in the crack, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, we're probably about 10 years behind, behind the rest of the United States when it comes to getting anything good. We do got a five guys though. We do got a five guys. I, I, that's probably where I eat the most. Uh, we got a Culver's up here. I, I, I've been really liking that. Uh, just kind of recently tried that. We don't have Sonic. <laughs> we don't have Sonic. Uh, Vu said three fifty to four fifty for the Air Force One. Really? Damn. I'm surprised those stayed that high, huh? Yeah. I, I really want this one. I really want this. The dunk. Uh, it's just kind of been like on a roller coaster. It feels like uh, between four and five hundred dollars. Uh, my size might be, yeah, still you know um, the lowest ask above four hundred. Uh, that's the dunk. We were just talking about the Air Force One here. Damn. Yeah, these were pretty limited as well, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I would definitely hold on. Even the Air Max one. Uh, if you just got that. Great, great collector. Uh, only going to really go up there, too. Oh. I think I like the Air Max the best. Well, I like the Dunk probably the best. But this Air Max is sharp. This Air Max is sharp, especially in the bigger sizes. I would imagine when it settles down, maybe mid threes. Hell yeah. Uh, my boy loves I do. I love Five Guys. Yeah. Five Guys is uh, pretty, pretty high on my list. Dude, it keeps getting expensive though. Right? Damn. Yeah, it keeps going up in price, I feel like. <laughs> I like to go in there and get the peanuts. I like when I go in there and order and I'm really hungry and it takes a little while. You can just go rack up the peanuts in there. That's a good, we, there was a place, actually, there, there's a bar in Scottsdale, in Old Town Scottsdale, where I can't remember what it's called, but you can, they got peanuts like that. And you just throw them on the ground. You don't even have to put them in the thing. You just, you, like, you drink beer, you get wasted, listen to music, and you just, like, the ground is like a, it's almost like a, a, like a salon, like where you would keep a horse. It almost looks like a barn, and then the ground is kind of like, I don't know. It's not like a normal floor. It almost, it's not dirt, but uh, it's probably like just like a wood floor or something. And then, yeah, you just throw the shells right on the floor. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Curious how, how the baseball, dude, those baseball cleats were fire straight to toe. Yeah. Uh, Rob said I got those Jackies uh, for my son on a first come, first serve at a skate shop. What? Damn, those skate shops been getting the bangers out down there in, in San Diego, <laughs> Southern Cali. Uh, yeah, I'm big fan of Five Guys, man. I, there's nothing more than I like a double burger. Um, and then I like to hit that thing with some bacon uh, and some jalapenos, some fresh jalapenos, tomato, pickles. Yeah, but those things getting expensive. <laughs> right, Rob said right there last time we got Five Guys. The four of us, it was over 75 that makes sense because two of us was like 30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and moms were sharing the fries. 
for sure. But it, it is pretty good, especially if you don't have an in and out. Like, that's as good as it gets here in North Dakota. Now, if you go, if you want to go down the rabbit hole with burgers, though, we go down to Taunton Trail where we go fish for walleye. A good, a good place also to pheasant hunt, goose hunt, duck hunt. A lot of hunting and fishing down that way. So you are going to get some good, like, restaurant, not big restaurants, no chain restaurants, but, you know, your grandma or grandpa that uh, owns, you know, whatever place it is, kind of a hole-in-the-wall place. But usually you can find some real good food up there. They'll usually um, cook up, you know, whether it's walleye, fresh catch, um, if it's pheasant season, grouse, partridge, whatever season it is, usually you can get, like, a a fresh catch of the day, or if it's a bird, of course, uh, the a bird of the day. But that's probably my, my favorite place to go up here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we don't have a lot of the, you know, the good spots, the good OG spots, like your In-N-Outs and, I don't know, some of the stuff you're probably accustomed to eating. The oil and the peanut shells are, are good for the wood. Oh, I didn't even know that, <laughs> right? They're lubricating the wood. <laughs> Sheesh. Hell yeah. Um, Culver's Fire Cheese Curds. Oh, yeah. I've never had the cheese curds. But I, because I always get the dessert. I always got to get one of those. I mean, they got the cheesecake sundaes, the boysenberry. They always got a berry I've never heard about. And they're, you know, melting that on some, some good ice cream. I like to dollar up a little bit, you know, especially midsummer when we get the munchies. That's a good place to stop. Absolutely. Yeah, Culver's is a banger. And, and the food is hot when it comes out to you. Way, way, way better, I would say. I would say it's way better than um, than the, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Like, uh, like a Denny's, you know, or something that would probably be about comparable to in price that we have in our town. <laughs> like an IHOP or a Denny's. Our Denny's doesn't do too well here. Our truck, our truck stops do a lot better up here. Truck, truck stops are, are kind of the way to go. We got a good one too uh, that has really good Nephila soup. Kind of random stuff, I guess. But yeah, we're probably most known for our truck stops. So instead of, you know, late at night Mickey D's, or late at night, Filiberto, late at night, Taco Bell. We just we just take it to the truck stop. And then we just tear up, you know, Flo, who's ever working. Yeah, always a good time at the truck stop, for sure. Definitely after the bar, always a good place to go before you, <laughs> before you go home and crash out, for sure. Hell yeah. You got a new setup. There we go. Wait, you got a, a new sneaker setup? Let's go. Hell yeah, I have to check that out. Uh, do yourself a favor and get the cheese curd. I got to. I'm a big cheese curd fan. I do like I, li- I do like a good curd, you know, every now and then. <laughs> For sure. Uh, especially at the fair. Cheese curds. I also like the mini donuts. Got to eat a few of those. And I, I like the, the Hawaiian shave ices uh, as well. Um, but nonetheless... I'm excited also to see uh, who's going to be playing this summer <laughs> at the fair in the middle of the summer because that one's always a good time. That one's always a good time. Can't miss out on that either. All right, let's go ahead uh, and uh, pop our window on over. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this. I think I can open up one more window. I got to open up Instagram over on my other curse. Nobody says let's go. <laughs> Nobody. No. Unless they're really on one, you know. And then you're probably like, well, I'm going to take this motherfucker home. He just suggested Denny's. <laughs> yeah. We're getting them out the car. Don't talk that shit in here. <laughs> no, no, no. Truck stop or else. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, Robbie, Jamie, I can smash and goes to the local truck stop for the best burgers and lot lizards. We're definitely the lot lizards. Absolutely. We got good shelter over there, even a car wash. Got a shower in there if you want to clean up afterwards. You know it. It's like a little mini hotel you can rent for the hour, but you don't have to rent it. <laughs> you just got to order a meal <laughs> for sure. 
Piazzi. Hell yeah. Marcus, big up my boy. What's goody, player? Here we go. Monday fun day, baby. <laughs> Always a good time. Uh, Perkins used to be one of my favorites. I was a big Perkins fan. I used to love the coconut cream pie over at Perky's. And then they fucking let me down just year after year of just, just getting just garbage. Or just hating my meal pretty much where I don't even go there anymore. I, w I don't even know if I would put Perkins above Denny's. Oh, and you, if you would have told me that 15 years ago, I would have never believed you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oofta. Uh, my wife hooked it up while I was at work. Oh, big up wifey. Big up wifey. Hell yeah. She moved the desk. Built my new chair. Damn. Got to keep her there, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the lot of lizards. Like they, they, they're not the most beautiful up in my neck of the woods, but they're, they are lovers. They got big hearts. <laughs> big hearts, big bodies. <laughs> yeah, see. Heck yeah. Yeah, you'll probably get a better selection down in Albuquerque, but you definitely don't want to miss out if you're ever in my neck of the woods. <laughs> you got to hit it up for sure. Don't miss a good a good uh, truck stop. Hell yeah. Uh, Marcus, I know I'm late, but uh, Darwin, hell yeah, Darwin week. Hey, also, Marcus, hey, you made it here plenty early. We haven't even... Uh, gone over the uh, Supreme drop yet. I can kind of uh, pop on over there uh, while we're um, – cause so we can look at the drip because the clothes are pretty dope. I think this week I'm going to be uh, buying some clothes for – not for once, but it, I haven't bought really any clothes in a while. The last thing I ordered I haven't even gotten yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my uh, Black Cray FTP T-shirt. And I've been saving my NBA Young Boy tea because I bought that the Supreme tea way back, uh, probably now, probably six months ago. But I've been I wanted the black crate tea to wear before I wore that one. <laughs> I like that one for sure, man. But yeah, what a good girl setting up your your setup when you're at work. At, but the question is, have you tested it out yet? That's always the tricky thing, especially like I'm always nervous, even though I love getting new electronics. Now I'm always so nervous to like be like, oh, is that going to work? Is my software going to work with that? <laughs> but yeah, once everything's hooked up and, uh, you know, you do a quick uh, test, then uh, things should all, all be good for sure. Uh, Darwin's going to be tough. Rumor of 6,500. Yeah, that's going to be, ooh, uh, get the Apple pay out. Get the Apple pay out. We're going to. I uh, need the old Freddy Quick Fingers uh, out there in the streets. You know it. Uh, if anyone just needs uh, just to free the mind a little bit, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, intern uh, of the day. There we go. Uh, just a little eye candy uh, while we get moving here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window, uh, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the dime uh, collection uh, as well. Uh, that's not going to be dropping until the 27th, so we still got a little bit of time to save our pennies. Uh, but, yeah, dude, I think I'm going to have to get the red pants. I'd rather have the black ones because I like the way they fit. I just don't really – I don't know if I like the white stitching. So, yeah, the red pant, I, oh, they also the pants also come in white. The white colorway kind of fire. I, I kind of, yeah. The white, the white colorway. I I always like because it's that color, dude. I love that jean vest. I don't know why I like it so much. I gotta wear it with a pair of jeans though. I gotta wear the 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 Canadian tuxedo top to bottom, baby. And there we go. That's that's gonna be the summer fit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, they will be uh, like the Supreme Air Mint. We'll load up so Oh, hope not. I hope uh, only chance will be to get an early in store slot for Supreme. Ugh. Yeah, that's a bummer if we. I mean, I don't love the shoes, but I would definitely want to cop one, right? Even if I even if I could only get like the the neon yellow or even the black, I probably won't even go for the camouflage ones if. We have the opportunity to go. Yeah. 
I'll probably just go for one that I, I can maybe squeak out a W, even though I don't really like the color, per se. But I guess the last time I did that, I took the L anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, what are your guys' uh, favorite items, at least of the collaboration so far, besides the shoes? Uh, we got the pants. I believe uh, we have also, let me go ahead and pop these up. Uh, I believe we got more photos of the pants. Oh, what do we got from uh, action? All right. Ooh, okay. All right, bam. Uh, once again, posted those 1906s. I got to say, it's either going to be, I'm thinking it's going to be next week. Maybe even this week by the weekend. Uh, but they've been getting teased now. Uh, the New Balance sites were teasing last week. Uh, Bam's been teasing pretty much the whole month. So I'm really looking forward to that uh, as well. Hell yeah. There we go. Uh, Kendrick dropping the response tomorrow. Ooh, okay. I'll be, I'll be waiting for this one. Uh, this is Kendrick's response to Drake and J. Cole for 7-Minute Drill and Push-Ups. Drop and give me 50. Uh, it is only the first 136 of the track. The full disc is around 5 to 6 minutes long. It drops officially on streaming services tomorrow. All right, well, we're definitely going to keep you guys informed with the latest and the greatest. <laughs> you know, Kendrick, as soon as he heard that uh, response, he, he was already sprinting. <laughs> To the studio, like the road runner, <laughs> or more like, uh, let's go ahead and pop on over. Uh, this sound right over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that one up on the on the big board. Yeah, as soon as he uh, uh, hears that uh, J Cole put out his uh, diss track to him, he's gonna just hear <laughs> to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> for sure you know it yeah yeah they trying to they try, yeah j cole and uh uh kendrick are both with inner skull too so yeah staging them for those sales creating that drama they're pretty interesting though i gotta say all right, let's go ahead. Yeah, le I wanted to pop up those. I, I wanted to pop up one of the colorways of the pants because I do want to see the, the cream color pants. Uh, let's go on over to the big board. I know they got them over on hype, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start over here. Yeah, these pants fit pretty good. There's the white jacket. The white jacket is all right, too. I like, like, the wrinkly nylon. Uh, they had some of this same material over on Ame Leandor, like, two weeks ago that I thought about copping. But some of the Ame stuff at the end of the year will go on sale if, you know, and there's still a full-size run. So kind of seemed like people weren't really digging um, that style. So I was just going to keep an eye on them, maybe get them, you know, when the sale <laughs> comes at the end of the year. The old coupon clipper always looking out for a good deal, you know. All right. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and put this one up uh, right there. Uh, so we got that. I, I just wanted to show you guys the white pants. Dude, I, what, does anyone else like this vest or is it just me? I don't, I don't really like the Nike spell out on the back. I, like, again, I wish it would just be all just plain denim. I also like that white anorak. You can't go wrong with it. You can't have too many, like, off-white, especially if you get, like, a windbreaker. Because my windbreaker gets dirty as shit. <laughs> like, I don't even got to eat in that thing and it gets dirty. If I got dirty fingers, my zipper gets dirty. So I got to wash it every time I wear it. Kind of a bummer. Yeah, Palace of Visu. Hell yeah. Yeah, nice little drop list over there as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop on over here. Let's take a look at what these pants look like. See, look at how nice these fit. Look how nice and baggy they are. That's exactly how I feel like I kind of like my ham nowadays. Um, usually on a jean, I, I've noticed I like about a 17-inch. 
a little bit more tapered on the bottom, you know, so it doesn't go underneath your shoe when you're skating. A dime, I feel like, has the best jeans, especially, like, for the price. I think the dime jeans are only, like, 120 but there's a couple good colorways that are going to be dropping. Uh, not this week, but next week. So I'm going to be kind of waiting for that. I'm going to probably... Uh, end up going heavy on that one. Uh, let's go over to Blasey. Blasey was supposed to drop early this week as well. Or at least put out the drop list uh, for later on in the week. Uh, he was going to be dropping the clock. The old ashtray right there. Uh, the triple collab between Runts. Uh, nothing personal. Um, but yeah, we don't know um, exactly what. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, is that? Is that, that ain't Adam 22's girl, is it? No. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Um, yeah, we'll keep. Uh, we'll keep an eye on uh, the drop list as well. There we go. <laughs> Shoreline Mafia, or old Shoreline Mafia, which Shoreline Mafia should get back together, right? That group, like, they were, I don't know, I, I enjoyed listening to their new music. Shoreline Mafia, I'm sure, oh, my California family. Yeah, talked for a while there. I mean, I was, I was real, um, I, I loved Rafi, the plug. I loved his music. Um, yeah. Even his brother. Yeah. R.I.P. to a legend. Uh, Draco the Ruler was probably... I thought he was the best up and comer in LA, personally. Besides Kendrick, personally, I was a big fan of Draco the Ruler. I loved his music <laughs> for sure. Shoreline Mafia, yeah, definitely putting out the hits. Like back in 2017, 2018. Ooh wee! Hell yeah. Um, just hope the Supreme Pants, uh, no overprices. Yeah, yeah, that would be, well, that would be the other thing. Um, I doubt they will be. I'm sure they'll be probably one, 150. Um, you know, I, if they're above it, I probably won't comp. Even, even 150 for nylon, like, that's probably like the max, <laughs> I just like how that you know how they fit. Um, you know you can wear them wide or you can hem them up. I love pants like that. My W taps are kind of similar, where you can either go with you know baggy look or you can hem up the bottoms and show off your sneaker. Uh, kind of all, yeah. Really, chill with them and Draco, dude. I love Draco. I j I just love his music. Yeah. I listened to a lot of Shoreline probably in like 2015, 2016. Like a ton of it. Triple X, Don, uh, X, Triple X, Tentacion. Shoreline Mafia. I mean, that was when like I listened at the time a lot of. Uh, oh, he sings Alan Iverson. Uh, Post Malone, like Post Malone's first like mixtape. Kind of that era. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, no one tapped in. Hell yeah. Uh, RJMR LA is my bro, bro. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, when I come out there, we're definitely going to have to come, or I'm going to have to come out there during like um, one of the concerts sometime, or I don't know, pick a, a good time to come out there. Tear it up a little bit oh, on the West Coast. I love it out there. San Diego, L.A., just all over, especially in the summer. I haven't been there in a long time, though. I haven't been there in a while uh, since I left Arizona. Same with uh, Las Vegas. It's been a while since I've been there, too. Hell, yeah. 
You know it. All right, what else we got going on? Um, yeah, just about eight minutes away. Damn, I got the fireplace on. Oh, I do. Oh my god, god damn. Oh, no wonder I'm sweating. Ooh. Yeah, good thing we got <laughs> good thing we got shorts on today. Oofta. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of move out of here. I was trying to find those white white pants. Um, yeah, the only pants I think we saw is, um, yeah, let's see if I can pull them up here for you guys. Um, but yeah, they're on the bottom here, those, those white ones. I think they're going to be off white. Just taking a look at kind of the whole collection. Who's going to buy the jorts and the vest? <laughs> Who could get the jorts and the vest? <laughs> Full fit. Right there. Uh, but, yeah, we got that one locked and loaded. Then we'll, we'll go ahead and pop on over take a look at Ivisu uh, as well. Uh, we got the jackets. Again, the anoraks. The quarter zips, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then, yeah, dude, I want the... Oh, there's two different colors. I, I like the blue one. The blue vest. I, I got a vest this last year, though. I got, like, an all-black one. I didn't... I wore it a little bit at the beginning of the year, and then I didn't really wear it again. So, yeah, I also like the white pair. But maybe being the Olympics is coming up, we got to go for the uh, the red, white, and blues. There we go, our 4th of July pants. <laughs> right? Hell yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we'll definitely take, take you up on that invitation, boo. <laughs> Hell yeah. For sure, yeah. Once we get the Winnebago and we get the the All American Road Trip and we get to traveling, and we go from event to event, <laughs> for sure. I, I I guarantee I'll probably spend a lot of time there because there's so many epic of skate spots and skate parks. Also, you know, I just want to roll through, check out as well. Hell yeah! All right, uh, then we, let's go ahead and pop on over to Avisu. Uh, take a quick gander. Uh, what we got over here? Oh, we got some more jean jackets. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I still like the vest the best. Still like the vest. Um, but they are going to be collaborating. Going to be dropping on Friday, looks like. Uh, the collection puts Avisu's renowned raw denim front and center. Showcasing a playful dice brocade motive. Baggy five pocket jeans available in both shorts and full length versions. As well as two pocket Jackets come in both light wash and raw dark denim variations, all featuring intricate dice embroidery. Jeez. They got the, all the embroidery. That's all embroidered on the back. Damn. I like when they make stuff really nice like that. I kind of like the t-shirt. I kind of like that black t-shirt. Um... Dude, I love the I love the color of those jeans. I just wish they didn't have the thing on the back. I love that. I love the wash of those. It looks like they're a really nice fit too. Those look like about seventeen inch hem, maybe even eighteen inch baggy through the the thigh and and ass right there. The fit looks nice on these, and I like the color. And I like the color. Got some jorts. I might have to get a pair of jorts this year, guys. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Are we going to start uh, leaving the Eric Emanuel's in the in the closet and go for something a little bit longer? <laughs> Big money. Oh, shit. We got cop date, baby. There we go. Let's tear it up. Uh, Big money savings, I'm guessing. You know it. <laughs> Dollar dollar bill, y'all. All right, well, let's go ahead and pop on over. Take a quick gamer. Uh, cop date auto winners be to plush? Plushy. All right, let's go ahead and take a, a quick look. Hell yeah. Let's go. Good morning, good morning. Good to see everyone uh, once again. Uh, big up, Birdo. Good morning, player. There we go. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, just joining us. Big up, Birdo Marcus. Hello, hello, hello. 
Monday fun day, baby. Welcome to the fold. All right, let's go ahead and uh, flip our window over. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the new raffle. Uh, we know it's Gucci. And when there's an SP. Yeah, <laughs> they not my big three. Sheesh. There we go. Season of the Jorts. I think they're coming back. I think they're coming back. At least my mesh shorts have gotten. Well, I've, I've, I've got kind of pairs of both. <laughs> I kind of got pairs of both, which. Yeah, which you got to kind of be prepared for, because if I'm going to wear a pair of Eric Emanuel shorts, I got to kind of not get too baggy on, on the hoodie or on the T-shirt, where if I'm wearing some baggy shorts, then I can. Um, have a little bit more boxy look, and it doesn't look completely off. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. We in it to win it, baby. Uh, get in, just tweeted it. All right, let's go. Here, I'm going to go ahead and pop my window on over. Uh, there we go. Uh, the link right there in the chat, guys, uh, for the big money savings. Um, yeah, we're just loading it up. Going ahead and showing you my screen here. There we go. Uh, or Chance, <laughs> not George. <laughs> oh, man. I definitely, yeah, I, I, I quit wearing shorts to skate in, though. I got too damaged up. I got too damaged up. Plus, there's a hill bomb. I'm going to go shoot. I should record this hill bomb. I wiped out on it like three years ago, and I want to go hit that thing one more time. I want to go hit that thing one more time, but I'm kind of scared. Hell yeah. Hunter! There he goes, J-Mac. Can you smoke a bowl with me soon? I'm here with you, my boy. Light it up and take a puff. I probably got to wait till till the end of the show. <laughs> but light it up, baby. It's perfect timing. I'm here with you in spirit and heart. <laughs> Let's go. And we got the chat. Been, been hot boxing all morning, baby. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. There we go. Hey, I appreciate I appreciate the invitation though. That, that does mean the world. I definitely don't pass a good session down very often. Only only when we're streaming, because uh, I get a little bit brain dead. <laughs> Just a tish. The entertainment might go down to a zero. I wear long camel shorts. I I don't wear all oh, long jean shorts, dude. It's been a while since I had a pair of jean shorts. I don't even remember the last time I had a pair of jean shorts. But, hey, there's always a first. I, I might have to cut a pair. <laughs> For sure. I, dude, I got this pair of jean shorts. They're actually swim trunks. Oh, my God. You guys got to see these. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll grab them. I'll wear them one morning. <laughs> I'll wear them one morning because you guys are going to laugh. They're basically... They look like a Daisy Duke short. They look like a pair of jean shorts that have been cut off, but they're made, they're like a Hurley short. So they're made like a weight to wakeboard in, but they look like they got like holes in them in their jeans, but they're actually a board short. <laughs> they're pretty funny. I get made fun of them when I wear them, but they're, dude, they're the best to wear for <laughs> just to get a reaction <laughs> for sure. They're sweet. They're my favorite wakeboard and shorts I got. They're my favorite wakeboard. Dude, I've had them for like, I've had them for, like, at least eight years. I've had them since I've been in university. So I think I've had them for, like, ten years. <laughs> They're pretty sweet. Yeah. You know it. Yeah, late night. Yeah, that uh, definitely for the, for the algorithm. Just because of YouTube switching things up a little bit. Yeah, we don't want them to, uh, you know, give us a, a strike. If I do it off off camera, you know, that's one thing, but. Hell yeah, but I'm definitely here with you in spirit, baby. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. You know it. We've been hitting that bong all morning, baby. <laughs> For sure. Nice little week uh, this morning. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, get entered up again uh, in the raffle. Uh, if anyone is wanting uh, to enter uh, over there on Plushy. All right, again. Uh, that uh, is going to, I'm going to go ahead and pin the link. I'm going to go ahead and pin the link on the top of the chat, guys. The link to the big money savings, dude. Come on, let's go. This colorway is delicious. This colorway is very delicious. Oh, I love that colorway. 
th- th- these are going to be a problem, right? Maybe not. Maybe we'll get in and we won't have any issues, but uh, we do want every colorway of those. I don't want to go too crazy on runners. The Jackie Robs, definitely a good purchase today. Everyone that was able to secure a pair. I know there wasn't a lot. Again, big congratulations. Big up, big up. What a way to start the week, baby. What a week. What a way to start the, the end of tax season. Officially, or early tax season. There we go. Yeah, fuck Uncle Sam, right? <laughs> You're not going to get the taxes on this one if I sell it, mister. All right, let's go ahead and pop on over. Let's go check out Nike SB. Uh, take a look around uh, the U.S. Uh, looks like Recess, North Carolina. Also, a uh, got them dropping. Uh, actually, they just dropped uh, this morning. Uh, in store only. First come, first serve. Uh, my family out there in uh, North Carolina. Is that the shy, glizzy neck of the woods, or is that South Carolina? Uh, but nonetheless, my family over there. Uh, there should be, again, a lot of different places that are dropping them. First come, first serve. Let me just go ahead and see if we got any uh, other places uh, from this morning. There we go, Spencer. We got the Leonardo's on. There we go. Yeah, I talked to him uh, a couple weeks ago before he left for Greece. Just a short little message when he won SB uh, Skater of the Month. I went ahead and congratulated him, and he hit me back. So, yeah, that would definitely be fun to team up uh, when we go out on the West Coast uh, as well. Yeah. I got also, Dan Corgan and those boys from uh, Powell, I would also wouldn't mind uh, skating a couple of those places as well uh, when we go down there if we have enough time. Uh, but, yeah, big up, Spencer. Big up, Spence. Ooh, there we go. God dang it, wouldn't that be great? I don't, I gotta say, guys, I don't like the way the orange lobsters look. I just saw well, a new skate video. Um, it just got uploaded on Thrasher. It was one of the last two that dropped. One of the guys was wearing the orange lobsters. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling them. Like, like I feel the other ones. Um, with that said, I mean, I would still <laughs> wish I had a pair. Um, but I just, yeah, visually, I didn't love them. I didn't love them. There we go. You got a Migo Skate Shop. Uh, yeah, it looks like Exodus Ride um, still has uh, 8 through 12. Um, and they're going to be opening at noon uh, as well if that is your local shop. Again, I would definitely tap in. Of course, these are beautiful. Uh, we definitely got to get a pair of these if, if at all possible. Damn, we got an undefeated Bum B collaboration? Okay. Uh, Bun B and Undefeated. Looks like they're going to be dropping a little collection as well. Nothing too great there. Um, looks like a little little sushi reference. Um, also, yeah, Denim Tears. Do they still got the, the monochrome sweatsuits up? I believe they did. Uh, there was a, a pretty good size run yesterday. Uh, we'll just double check uh, to see what sizes are still left. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, we got the monochromes. And um, size guide, uh, medium through extra large. So they're just sold out of small, and it looks like double X. Again, that is over on the Denim Tears uh, site. If anyone does see the link, just let me know. I can go ahead and pop that one in, no problem. God dang it, yeah. See, look at how good those pants, they're good width. Yeah, those, those windbreaker pants. I definitely need a pair of those. I think if I can't get the red ones, I get the white ones. Because the white ones don't have the stitching. Um, and then, of course, Friday, we got Palace Avisu. Avisu. <laughs> Butchered that one. A little mumble jumble there. I, I think I'm going to go for the garb, though. This uh, I definitely need some new spring out, summer outfits. We're kind of behind the times. I feel like I'm wearing the same stuff all the time. So definitely need to freshen up that wardrobe a little bit. Um, but uh, we're going to hopefully start with the Supreme Nike drop. Uh, also, Lala, a rockin' the Drake Nike Nocta La Automobile Racing Jacket. Uh, there's going to be a collection that's also dropping this week. Going to be passes uh, for me as well. There we go. Yeah. Until Drizzy puts some hot fire out there, 
I tell you what, yeah, I got to back off. You know it. Getting eight out there by Metro. Future and Kendrick, I mean, he's going to come back with a nasty one, I think. That might be the end of him. <laughs> that might be the end of him. I don't know if he comes back from this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's Thursday, Darwin Lowe's and the Nike Collection. And very exciting times. Very exciting times. All right, let's go ahead and pop on over real quick, get caught up with a couple of the stories. Uh, just really quick, I uh, wanted to take a look at a couple dunks we got dropping. Uh, also, take a look at a couple sneaker leaks that came out this morning uh, as well or in the last 24 hours. Uh, we do got the Nike Dunk Low Olive Aura. Kind of a cool colorway. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I would have rather had them on in SB. Of course, we saw the Neapolitan uh, SB. It looks like we got that Olympic pack uh, that's going to be dropping. It's got the dinner plate. Uh, we got also the Safari uh, Olympic uh, colorway. Um, and then now we also have the uh, Neapolitan colorway that we saw this morning. Uh, those will be SBs. Again, orange label SBs. Uh, kind of in between our collaborations that we got coming up. I'm, I'm probably just going to cop the collaborations. Um, unless there are some colorways that drop that I haven't seen. Uh, then we also uh, have another collaboration coming up. Again, uh, sneakers and stuff, SNS and Adidas are set to breathe new life into a beloved classic silhouette. Uh, after the success of their rotation pack and GT series, spotlighting iconic cities like Stockholm, Tokyo, and Los Angeles, SNS and Adidas are ready to reveal an olive version of the GT2 handball, baby. So it looks like Adidas uh, moving a little bit away from the Samba. They've been dropping a lot of different colorways and collaborations on that Adidas Samba. I just sold my Sporty and Rich Samba on Saturday. I still haven't taken it to the UPS office, but I did get a nice, I about doubled my money on that one. I traded that one out. Uh, but nonetheless, it looks like Adidas is dropping. Um, they're also going to be a Gazelle Bad Bunny uh, collaboration that's going to be coming up. Uh, they're also working on uh, a different silhouette, uh, the Gazelle. Uh, and then looks like they're also uh, doing collaborations on this G2 handball uh, as well. Uh, then we got a, a grade school collaboration uh, just coming up. Uh, this one's going to be releasing in April as well. Hot Wheels and Reebok Kids uh, teaming up for this kids sneaker collaboration. This partnership brings together two iconic brands celebrating their shared legacy of play. The collection features four distinct styles inspired by classic Hot Wheel designs. There we go. Fuck, I miss my old Hot Wheels, man. I used to have, like, the loops. Yeah, I had a little bit of everything. Smash and grab, though. Got a lot of the cars still left. And that was before, I think, we went to the micro machines. That was before we went to the micro machines. Yeah, good part. Uh, Rami said uh, the Neapolitan is part of the Olympic. Oh, nice. So it looks like we got, uh, what, three of, of the Olympic pack already? There we go. Big up, Mo. There we go. Deuce is up. Playa. Let's go. You know it. Deuce is up. Pinky's up. To the ceiling. Good to see everyone. Cheers. Happy Monday. There we go. Uh, Hunter says the olive aura is the same type as the photon does. Uh, they sell out in uh, the, um, I'm guessing bigger sizes for sure. I think they're, yeah, I, lo I love the, the hairy, <laughs> hairy bush. No kidding. Yeah, we need some of that, kind of like that air fleece way. Uh, looks really good. Uh, as well. Hell yeah. Flock also said green and orange are the fave. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, Rami said the Neapolitan pack, part of the uh, Olympic pack. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pop on over there. Is the big money savings? Is that the fourth one? I can't remember if that one was a part of it or not. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, yeah, pop on over there. All right. So we got the dinner plate and the... The Neapolitan, the dinner plate, okay, and then, boop, 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 boop. all right, let's go, I believe, um, God, I love this one, uh, as you guys know, this one and the, and the, um, the Verde ones are my favorite, in fact, I like this one so much, I think I'm just gonna buy the Converse one, just so I have both of them. 
because I respect the design. I love the materials. Whatever they're using there, I, I think it's fire. Almost reminds me of like a Jurassic Park uh, collaboration. Um, but uh, once again, part of the Olympic pack. Um, do we got them down here? No. Okay, so yeah, the big money savings aren't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop over to Yankees Kicks. Uh, just so we can get the Olympic pack on foot. I'm guessing there's going to be four of them. All right, well, let's uh, take a quick gander here. Yeah, these bad boys. I'm guessing probably these, as well as the future ones, are going to be dropping, I'm guessing, in June. Um, the future ones are supposed to drop next month. Um, speaking of next month, also on May Day, uh, we also have the uh, Kobe 8 uh, going to be dropping. Yeah, we also got the Kobe 8s going to be dropping. The Mamba Sita, those are going to be dropping May 1st. So that one's also going to be another one added to the list. It's going to be a really, really, uh, really, really nice month. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, yeah, Futura ones. Again, just right around the corner. You know, another pair that I saw recently, I can't remember which ones these were. Um, but let's go ahead. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah, Chicken Wop put these out. Um, let me go to Chicken Wop's Instagram. He also put out the Futura Friends and Family. Um, yeah, Chicken Wop. Uh, right here. Oh, yeah, we got some, yeah, some good stuff. Yeah, these are going to be dropping right around the corner as well, the latte, which is a pretty, it, it, it looks better than I thought it was. Looks a little bit better than I thought it was. But, yeah, which ones are these ones? Yeah, just a um, yeah, special. Yeah, it doesn't have a post on them. Um, probably would be something that I would imagine would probably be like a Southeast Asia exclusive. Um, but I also, I also like the color of them. I don't really like the toes. The toes almost kind of look like a, I don't know what you'd kind of call that stamp right there. More like a, like a Salvation Army almost like logo or decal or kind of like a sponsor, I should say. It's the only thing I don't like is the toe, but I like the colors and everything else. Um, and then, of course, next month, uh, yeah, we got both of these dropping. Uh, if you haven't already gotten the uh, Industrial 4s, of course, that's right around the corner. And then these. This, this is a pickup for me as well. This is the only Jordan besides the... I mean, if we hit on the Travis Scotts next month, we'll take one of those. Uh, also, we got the J Belvin Jordan 3s, but those are probably oh, the only Jordans I'll end up copying in May. Uh, Going to be the Jordan 11 and the Belvins. Um, now, if we can get our hands on the Travis Scotts, of course. You know, those are those are keepers, but... Yeah, the next two that we got coming out that I'm going to be copping, I got to get this pair. I'm, I'm definitely leaving the black laces in. I, You know, we've seen them also with the blue laces. I like them with the black laces better. Uh, that's a must-have, and then these must-haves. Yeah. But still, I would, I'd rather have the friends and family pair. I love this pair. Look at these materials on there. Just primo dreamo. Got the leather. Ooh, we yeah, no. No canvas on this shoe. Yeah. Yeah, but good looker. Uh if, if we could get that one, the Verde. Ooh, both colorways of the future and the Verde. That would be save our pennies, I guess. Save the pennies. Um, but again, yeah, we got the uh what are you guys saying in the chat? Uh, their new name for the uh, SB, the Neo, the Trocadero. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the Trocadero Gardens. Nice. Uh, we've had 
Uh, City of Love Pack, which is two pairs. City of Style. Oh, yeah. The Escargo Dinner Plate Safari. Okay. Um, my Escargo. Is that the dinner plate? Is that the same one? Uh, let me go ahead and take a quick gander. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Um, yeah, over on Instagram. Okay, there we go. All right. Nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they got the little change name there. Okay, let me go ahead and show you my screen. Let's go ahead and show you my screen. Over there. All right, so it looks like uh, they're going to be highlighting the Tricardo Garden of Paris. Okay, so this is a place in Paris, I'm guessing. Uh, one of Paris's most uh, famous features graces the skate staple. All right. Things are at a fever pitch with regards to the Olympic Nike slate. Following a tech-focused showcase that gave us a concept on uh, Nike Wemby shoe and new models from the Nike Pegasus Premium uh, to the Nike SB PS8. Some old staples are getting love now, too, uh, with a special edition Nike SB Dunk Low. Interesting. Uh, the shoe instead takes its shades from the Jardin du Trocadero. The historic and scenic outlook that stands across the Ro the Rhone from the Eiffel Tower, the aged architecture and iconic sunset vistas, seen from the local, most heavily informed, the chosen shades, uh, with the gray, white, brown, and pink all given an almost marbled texture, uh, reflected underfoot on the outsole. Damn. I, I think the only one I need is the Olympics one. What do you guys think? I don't know if I need more than, yeah, I'll probably just kind of sit tight for some of the collabs. I do, like I said, I do like this colorway. I don't mind the pink colorway, but beans, I got those gallery department vans. I, I would wear those, you know, probably in, instead. I mean, obviously they're, they would probably match different things, but I don't think I need both of them. So, yeah, very interesting right there. Speaking of, uh, we also have some new tech uh, also going to be dropping uh, at the Olympic Games. I'm curious to see how these new SBs do end up uh, working, though. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pop on over there. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the SB window. So I got that right next to uh, these ones that we just opened. Yeah, that's Sheffian. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. I don't think the was it, were the new SB. Yeah, these ones. I, I'd just be curious to see how these feel, like with uh, like fly knit skate shoes. You know, I mean, usually I I have the best flick. Like when I'm flicking my skateboard, dude. Some of the best flicks come with some of my running shoes or like my old like my Vans Authentics, something just old school that really you know isn't made to maybe skate over time. Like, if you're skating in a Vans Authentic, you're probably, <laughs> like, an old-school shredder, even, like, in a, in an old-school Converse. Um, you know, definitely can get by uh, rocking them in the bowl or whatnot, but if you do wear it, um, you know, hot, like, over and over again, those are definitely not going to last long, for sure. Anyone in, in the chat still shredding the old Vans Authentics? Yeah, yeah. now since they've, you know, put a little bit more panning on the uppers, especially on the, on the tongue, where it looks like on this prototype, they really kept them really slim. Um, because, yeah, you don't see much of a bubble on the tongue. On the side, again, you got the fly knit. I mean, it looks more like a running shoe, which I would prefer, you know, especially for the board feel. You got the vulcanized rubber which I wish they would have done on the SB Darwin. Like, the SB Darwin would have looked very good. I mean, remember, just just take the midsole, 
And even on the SB Darwin, where, where there's curves, like on the midsole, you could have just taken that and vulcanized all that, that whole part. It would have worked. It would have worked because, and, and then maybe not done canvas on the upper. You should have probably maybe done fly knit. Like instead of doing canvas, at least it would have been something different. And then you would have vulcanized the, like the high wear areas. I think that would have been sick, man. Ah, give me a rip at that. But yeah, like right here, like, like you know, even even on, you could have probably made, I don't know, probably through a third of an inch, uh, just above the midsole right there. Vulcanized. You could have even started it on the back heel where all that rubber comes up. Anything curvy there, I would have probably went like a centimeter or two down and then just vulcanized it. And just kind of had a kind of a base going around the whole shoe. It definitely would have helped, you know, it would have given you at least more on the where you kick flip. You know, your shoe's gonna get, especially where your laces are tied. I mean, that'll probably snap in no time. Those thin laces and down on the bottom, there's like no protection. So. You're going to need, like, Andy Anderson's <laughs> shoe. You're going to need the Velcro part <laughs> to go over those so you don't break any of your eye stays uh, if you are wearing the Darwins. But, no, I, I would have really preferred that uh, to have, you know, if I go up here, let's go to Nike SB so I can kind of, if anyone is confused, I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. But even on the, uh, like, a shod wear max, um, you know, we also see, you know, so above the midsole there, that, that, Fuchsia color, that's going to be all vulcanized leather. And I would have just liked that little part also on the on the Darwins. It w I think it would have blended the midsole a lot better. And then you could have given it any shape you wanted to. Like, you could have given it any shape you wanted to. It didn't have to be just straight across like they do on the Vans. You know, they could have gotten creative with that, with the vulcanized part. Um, and then, you know, like the Wear Max also got the vulcanized also going to make the shoe lighter and i think if you would mix it with a fly knit because you already got canvas so i know canvas is more sturdy than fly knit but i also like the pluses of fly knit you know especially if you're not worried about your high wear areas on this shoe i figure if you're gonna have an sb collaboration you would you know you would probably be worried about stuff like that but apparently not uh, but yeah the, the wear max on here of course you see the the vulcanized part right right above the midsole there. Again, on the front vamp, it's very thin. They don't, don't really don't have any vulcanized part on the toe. They just have that mud guard, the suede mud guard there coming up. Um, but you can see right above the midsole there, right above the air pocket, there's that the whole side of the silhouette there. It's got the vulcanized rubber there. There's a little bit of a shape to it. It kind of cuts down and comes back up. I would have loved to see them do the same thing on the Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> Vans authentication. <laughs> Hell yeah. Only if it has to do with Udo, it is a must cop. Damn. Udo fans in the house. <laughs> Waka flocka. Hell yeah. You know. Dude, it's going to be a great week this weekend, baby. Fuck it. It's going to be they're probably the best lineup that we've had. Probably the best lineup we've had in a long time. Uh, in San Diego, baby. Rob's hometown. <laughs> they come into the beard. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Pinky's up. Grandpa beard. I love it. Uh, Races SP was the best so far. It was, yeah, I, that's what my mom said. I showed my mom like just a couple of SBs uh, over the weekend. That I had picked up and I showed her the Heises and she's like, oh, did you get, like, thinking I got them in, like, small sizes? I'm like, no, I got an extra size 10, you know, in case I wear them or want to wear them or, you know, trade one out uh, or whatnot. But she really liked them. But she was, you know, more for, I think, her. <laughs> she's like, oh, I would, I would wear those. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you would, Ma. Okay. Yeah, Mom's birthday is coming up, so. Uh, between those and the Yeezys. I was just going to get a pair of, uh, yeah, of the slides. Yeah. 
or we might, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm still looking at copping those Barbie ones, too. I got a little niece and, and a sister that <laughs> really want those damn Barbie dunks, so I've been keeping kind of an eye on those. I thought they would have dropped, but it I don't know. Every time I look, they get, I feel like they get more limited. Like, there's a lot of sizes that uh, aren't showing up now. All right, how we looking over here? How we looking on the damn? Look at look at the Jackie Robs. Some sizes now. Yeah, going closer to four hundred. Now we got bids over three hundred. No matter really what size you're going for, or at least you know nine half and up. You know it. Yeah, good good W today. Good W. Congratulations once again. There we go. Delio! Smoke puff clouds in the chat, baby. Hell yeah. Big up, uh, big up the Leo. Happy Jack and Rob Day. You know it. Uh Rob, the authentic, my everyday shoe. Yeah, my uh I do got a pair of the authentics at work. I just I keep for when I like they're beyond trash. Uh, you know, they can barely wear them, but like when I spray the mats off and shit, if I don't got my crocs, I'll just put on those and then Take them out, and then I don't have to get my socks or shoes wet, whatever I'm wearing. But I wear the one uh, with the squiggly line. Yeah, that's kind of my Vans go-to model. Um, the, uh, um, I don't know, the same, uh, it's got the squiggly line like on my Rowleys. Uh, I think it's called the OG, not the new school, but the, uh, just these, the old school, yeah. Just the old schools, yeah, with that little, the little squiggly line. Yeah, those are usually my go-tos. Uh, but, yeah, we do got the uh, Dime Rowley. Again, these are kind of, well, now they've kind of gotten a little bit pricey, uh, depending on uh, what size uh, you do go for. Uh, but we do got the gallery department and uh, both of the Dime uh, collabs on this Rowley. As well, smoke puff clouds in the chat, baby. We matching them, roll them and smoke them. <laughs> Hell yeah! Good to see. Shout out all the lettuce sets. Big month today. A little pre early celebration on the four twenty. You know it. Big up, big up. <laughs> nice little week too. I mean, I wish you know we'd be a little bit more set up for that four twenty drop, but I mean, I can't can really complain about at least Thursday's drop. I'm excited for Supreme. I just got to kind of narrow down my what I want to pick up and what I don't. For sure. <laughs> there we go. All right, yeah, and then uh, I just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about Dime. Uh, they are going to be doing a drop. Still about um, a week and a half away. Still about, I believe it's going to be dropping on the 27th. So it's still 12 days away, but, dude, I'm telling you, they got, uh, I'll show you the pants I want. There's two pairs of pants I want. Um, and they're both, that button up kind of hard. Um, but yeah, we, uh, want a pair of uh, jeans and then there's a pair of like tan. I don't know if they're just khakis, but the, the fit on them's perfect. Uh, was this the pant? I think that was them. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab these tan pants. I love the fit of them. They got the pleats. They're, they're nice and baggy. Great skating pant. I want this pant, and then, and then there's a pair of jeans I, I want to cop. Um, and then there's, uh, yeah, I believe the color is, yeah, I think the pants that I'm copping is this exact same pant, but I'm copping the, the, the tan pair. Um, and then, uh, no, this is the pants. I'm guessing that that's the same pant. This guy just wears them a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, we're definitely going to be copping one of those. Um, and then uh, there's a pair of jeans. Yeah, these jeans, the the white, like the light color in the back. I just want a regular pair, you know, of, of like just regular blue jeans. I t I'm telling you guys, we're putting on the Canadian tuxedo. We're getting the full fit put together. <laughs> we're going to need, hopefully, to grab one of the vests, on, I think, on Thursday. Let's go. So much. I just got those Rowleys. <laughs> nice. On dime. Hell yeah. Dude, the only thing I wished is I had a bigger size. 
because they do fit a, like me a half size small. Um, I did go up a half size in the gallery department collaboration. I got one size ten, and then all my other collab, like my two other colors, are all nine and a halfs, and then my dime one also is half size too small. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll still be able to skate in them. You know, that's what I got them for. That's what I got them for. But yeah, the, I think this one, just the OG colorway. I saw Steve-O rocking them too. I was watching one of Steve-O's um, shows or his podcast, and I saw him rocking uh, that dime collab as well. Hell yeah. I love that Raleigh. I love them. I love them. So I like them a lot better than SBs. Just like skating in them. Probably my favorite skate shoe to skate in. Uh, I, I There was a Circa pair I used to love, you know, back in the day, even more than like the, the this D3. Yeah. Great shoe. For sure. Yeah. I should be getting the, my pink uh, Wear Max uh, sometime this week. Hell yeah. Uh, messed up not picking up the Rowley Dime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, the good thing about a lot of the, the Rowley collabs is that they got the gum bottoms. Hell yeah. Now, Marcus, that palace of his who rolling dice is ridiculous. <laughs> is the, are you talking about the jean one? Yeah, I, I the, the, Denim is pretty nice on the Visu stuff. I just don't really like the, like, if it was just, like, no logo, I would be all over it. For sure. Yeah, and two nice uh, collabs over the weekend. Um, Yeah, let me go on over to the, the Palace collab. Is this it? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, I think the, uh, yeah, I just like the wash. Like if they just didn't even even the front, I don't mind the the little logo or the palace spell out, and then the visu to hit on the pockets. But yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the like the back of it, especially on the denim, especially on the denim. But the washes are freaking awesome. The and the the like the bagginess of them. I think the jeans would actually, you know, be awesome. It's just uh, yeah, I would rather have them without anything on the back. But that's how I kind of like all my jeans. I don't really like any logos on my jeans. I just like my jeans super plain. I don't know, it's kind of why I like the dime ones. And they're the 125 so they're they're decently priced as well. There we go, Captain! <laughs> Big up, player! Good morning! There we go. We hit and we quitting. Um, yeah, a little bit, unfortunately, a little bit late on the Jackie Robs. Uh, they did sell out. They were pretty limited. Uh, we did get a couple W's uh, in the chat, but um, they were few and far between. I think we only got one W in the chat. I, didn't, I don't think I saw another one. There we go. All right, congrats on, on the dub ski. Once again, Boo coming through in the clutch with that one. That was a, a good finesse. Uh, I wish I could have done the same. <laughs> I like the jean jacket. Not so much the pants. Yeah. Yeah, the jacket it the jacket is pretty dope. The jacket is a real good looking jacket. Speaking of, yeah, we got we got some good denim stuff coming out this week. Again, dropping a little bit later this week. Uh 420 drop gonna be on Saturday. They got the Bape Adidas collab. I'm uh, gonna be dropping over the weekend. And then of course, on Thursday, we got the Darwin Lowe's gonna be dropping over on Primo Dreamo plus the Nike collaboration. I as well. I'm uh, looking forward to both of those bad boys. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pop on over here. I really like the Supreme. <laughs> the vest. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem this week. Yeah, going to be a spendy week. I better go get my board put together today. Perfect time. Um, but, yeah, let's go on over to, to, to Supreme. Uh, take a quick yeah, yeah I love the I love the vest I, I just wish there wouldn't be the like I said the logo on the back like I love the tiny supreme logo on the neck and I love just the the little swoosh like that's it but it does like I don't know if it's like a game changer I, I do like the cream color one too but I just never see I never see jean vests you know it's like few and far between <laughs> for sure 
Oh, it just reminds me of my, my pop so much. Like his jacket he used to have. I think I got to get it. I think I got to get the blue one. I, I It probably is going to be difficult. But. Uh, shit, if we get that, we might wear it all summer. No shirt underneath it. <laughs> we go into the con- we go into the state fair. <laughs> we go into the concerts at the state fair with the with the Hurley jean shorts with the jean vest. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be some fair cowboy boots? <laughs> That's my Fourth of July fit, baby. There we go. Royal Viz. Got him. Size 10 and a half. There we go. I think that's the only uh, second dub uh, in the chat, especially after last weekend. Uh, over, I think it was closer to 70% of the chat getting a W on the Kobe's over the weekend. Unfortunately, I was uh, one of the 30% that didn't, but you guys killed it this weekend, baby. Bang on those chests a little bit. Congratulations. We do got the ladies in the house. Big up, big up. Got him. There we go. Congrats on the finesse. Hell yeah. Let's go. There we go. Congrats on uh, the other W. All right. Yeah, we popping on over. Uh, McDonald's arch out the butt. I said something <laughs> I can pull off. Yeah. Uh, out the butt. It's like, what you looking at? Oh, I'm just seeing what brand your jeans are. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, they, we used to have, like my freshman year of college, they had all these booty shorts for the girls, right? They had like the little Arizona, like the little Arizona shorts, so... Think of like an Eric Emanuel, like think of how short those were. Think if they would hem up maybe another like three inches. They didn't make guys shorts. They were just for the ladies. Thank God. Um, But they were all plain in the front. And then they had the little pitchfork or the the Arizona State spell out like ASU right on the ass. So every time you walk by them, you couldn't help like literally – their vaginas were almost hanging out the bottom of their shorts. That's how short these shorts were. And they were like in style for probably a good three years. Absolutely. But you know how there were a lot of, like the last couple years, we saw a lot of like logos getting printed like on the fronts of the pants. It was pretty much the same thing, but on the butts. But yeah, for the ladies, it, it, looked, it looked perfect. I love, I love staring at them. <laughs> right hell yeah yeah big dub there royal vision big dub you know big dub no whammy Brr. yeah big up on that one hell yeah force and scenery stock the stussy baklava let's go oh, the pringle <laughs> yeah we need to know diddy after that one we need to know diddy after that one for with the pringle boots <laughs> oh fuck i forgot about those the pringles boots yo we got to bring the boots back yeah, these ones dropping tomorrow. What are we doing here? <laughs> right. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and uh, pop our window on over. Yeah, we got to get the boots. We got to get the boots. These are dropping tomorrow. These are dropping tomorrow. Let's see if they got the old raffle up. How are these ones looking? Okay, do we got... All right, because, yeah, usually there's a 24-hour raffle um, for the for at least the collaborative. Um, let's see. Do we have featured? Um, let's see. Do they got the collab up now trending? Salehi. Uh, there will be some Salehis that are going to be dropping as well. Um, I don't see the Pringles ones loaded up on the site. Again, usually they will have a raffle for 24 hours. They're supposed to drop tomorrow. Uh, they are supposed to be dropping tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I'm not seeing them loaded up uh, on the Crocs site uh, quite yet uh, as well. Hey, yo. uh, wait, Vance uh, Rowley, 
drop today? Uh, no, 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 Hunter. No, we. Were, I was just looking at uh, a pairs that I have in my collection, and I was just pulling up prices uh, for like the Vans, Rowley, and then the gallery department ones. The the dime ones are doing way better than like the gallery department ones. The only one that's doing decent there is the the one with the flames on it. But I was glad that we were able to get our hands on them. Um, because I got two of the pink ones just uh, for the personal. And then I got a pair of the blue and red ones. I wish I would have copped the, the flame ones, but, you know, I didn't. Hell yeah. <laughs> Crock boots is goats. <laughs> the cooter. <laughs> Gonna be going getting that that Monday night cooter. <laughs> For sure. You know if Pinky's up, baby. Yeah, I think that I think if you're gonna go for one, you gotta go for the boots with the Pringles can on the side. It's more about convenience. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, you can fill you can fill those up with, you know. Definitely, you know, maybe not even have the fanny pack. Get rid of the fanny pack. For the ankle strap, I don't know. That's gonna be a tough, pa a tough one for all the fanny pack lovers. <laughs> for sure, <laughs> Flacco, <laughs> getting a little nauseous. Uh, are we getting those Pringles boots tomorrow, or copping uh, either or just the red top boots? I wouldn't get the other pairs. Yeah, um, I, uh, the boots are definitely yeah. All the other ones are just to me, just other Crocs. The boots. Uh, God, are the are the most different, for sure. Yeah, those would even be good like around Halloween time. I mean, I could imagine <laughs> bingo night with the <laughs> bingo night with with the with the, what do we call them? Those a coot with the coots on. Then you know it. You got your bingo stamper <laughs> in the Pringles pocket, <laughs> dude. That would be epic. Yeah, a lot of good videos. I feel like. I, I hey, instead of getting the big red boots, I'm getting the Pringles Crocs. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fly go. Hey, let me check it out, my boy. All right, yeah, I got my uh, uh, yeah, we got the uh Insta up on my computer here. I just got to share the screen. Oh damn! I'm telling you, they're coming. Look at those. What are those? Yes, yes, let's let's take a look at at the prototypes. Hell yeah. Yeah, prototypes, uh, I believe they're going to be dropping right around Olympic time. Uh right around the the Olympic time. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh pop that one up. Damn. Oh, oh no. Dude, that thing on the bottom kind of looks like a maxi pad. Doesn't it? Like the, what would you call it? Like the insole? <laughs> God. You know, it looks like kind of like in a, yeah, like a, a long pad. Oh, these ones are kind of dope, though. These ones are kind of dope. But is that the only way they, do, like, is that how they're designing stuff now? Is just through AI? <laughs> Man, Nike really struck. Oh my God! Oh boy, are these the Wembys? Is this another angle of the Wembanyanas? Oh, I, yeah, I can't do stuff like this. I could do the last one. Uh, this one is is doable. I don't like the sock liner on the on the top. Um, but the midsole, like these, look like like a track shoe. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Saturday night shoe when you get when you tear it up, get in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Throw on the runners. I don't know. It's got a really weird shape to them. Got a really weird shape to them. But yeah, like I said, that the first one, that that midsole part. Oh, those are so ugly. <laughs> My opinion. This one kind of crazy looking. I don't know. This one, can you even put your foot in it? Uh, once again, it looks like uh, Team Swoosh unveiled upcoming innovations that athletes will be lacing up for the Olympics. So there will be a lot of these on foot, it looks like, this summer. A plethora of fresh new product was on display, including uh, these AI-driven air prototypes made with the help of athletes and designers. 
it's got a good look to them. These ones are kind of funky looking. Like, you know, if they're wearable and I guess if they didn't go overboard, you know, because sometimes they make changes that aren't necessary. I wish they would have taken some of this inspiration and put them on the Darwin lows because I feel like I can help them with that. Or maybe just, you know, kind of, I don't know, cheering them on to do something different, even if that's all I got to do. But the Darwins did not get the makeover that we're seeing with some of these silhouettes. Oh, my goodness. Look at these. That's an interesting shoe, right? God. Yeah, they look like. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Whoa, this one is really funky. But this one looks cool. This one would, would be more wearable. But but the crazy thing is, is why would they want... The, are they not going to train beforehand? Yeah, some of these, you, you kind of like... Maybe the AI... Yeah, some of these don't even look like the AI thought that, you know, you could, like, actually put a foot in them. Some of these are really going <laughs> kind of crazy, right? Yeah, those are crazy. Oh, no, Robbie. He goes, look at the resale on the Pringles. I don't even. Once you pop, you can't stop, right? Pringles crock. Um, I'll, I'll probably, wait, are you talking about the reselling the, cro uh, the croc cowboy? Was it this one, uh, Rob? Damn, these ones are already almost up to $300. This was the OG cowboy boot. Holy shit, look at the bigger sizes. <laughs> no way. Dude, everyone loves crocs, I'm telling you. Foam shoes are still on the rise. <laughs> right. The one with the big pad on the forefront. It looks like the old shoes are supposed to make you jump higher. That's wild. I wish they would have had that one back in my day when I could barely get the bottom of the rim. <laughs> the only one on my team that couldn't dunk it. Like even in high school, like I could get up there and like grab the rim, but I couldn't dunk it. If I had like a wide open layup, I couldn't dunk it. Even in high school. I had to lay it up. <laughs> I had to lay it up. Uh, by, by the time I graduated, I fucking, they wanted me to pass it. <laughs> I'm the only one that got worse as I got older. 10th grade, 11th grade, to 12th grade. I was on varsity from 10th grade on. I played more, like a little bit 10th grade year. Played a ton 11th grade year. That's when we won our, our state championship. And then as a senior, towards the end of the year, I was getting like, I mean, I wasn't playing what I would would have liked to. Let's put it that way. I was definitely <laughs> not happy with my playing time. For sure. <laughs> I was like, what the heck are those? I know, those are crazy. Uh, did I pull these up? Or, or are we talking about the Pringle one, uh, Rob? Um, yeah, I think you were talking about the, the cowboy boot. I don't think I was able to pull up the... I didn't see the Pringles one. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking. Um, but yeah, they might not have the Pringles up yet. But yeah, we'll be on the... I would imagine... I would have thought they would have been up if they're going to drop tomorrow. How are the how are the old uh, Industrial 4s looking? Shit, all, all the way down to $300 already. My size squeaking. Uh, still, you know, they're hanging out. They're hanging out. I would imagine before they drop, they're going to be probably in like the 280 to 260 range in a nine and a half. Uh, how tall am I? Um, I'm six foot. Six foot. There you go. You know it. Six foot zero. I'm probably closer to 5'11", but I call myself six foot. Um, you know. Whenever I get measured, sometimes I'm six foot. Other times I'm like in between 5'11 and six foot. 
Probably with my hair like this, I'm probably like 6'2". <laughs> probably 6'2". The cowboy one. Okay. Sweet. Then, yeah, I think I had the right one up there. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> They're already itching closer and closer to $1,000. Those were pretty sweet, though. Did you get a pair of those? Anyone cop the, the cowboy Crocs? Dude, though, that's like a San Antonio Spur, like, perfect. Now, if I was a Spurs fan, the only thing I would be wearing with my Wembenyama jersey is these fucking things. That's it. <laughs> yeah, maybe a pair of the Shaps. <laughs> there we go. A hundred? I think they'll go below retail? The Industrials? Really? Woohoo. I don't know. That would be kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think they'll go into retail, but I do think there won't be, you know, uh, much left uh, when uh, you do get your pair. Like, I, I would imagine my size on the industrial, I'm just guessing, uh, but my size, like, when drop time comes, um, May 4th, or when do these drop? Uh, they're going to be dropping on the 24th, so. Um, yeah, I would say they'll probably be down in my size. I would say, like, 260. I think they'll they'll stay maybe even in two fifty. I think I think they'll definitely. I don't think they'll get lower than that. Hell yeah. There you go. Yeah, if you got a pair on the shock drop, uh, you can flip them, make a little money, and then hope to get another pair. But the last time I did that, I had uh, trouble getting. Um, I bought the crimson, uh, the basically the red thunder Jordan fours. I got a pair on the shock drop. I sold them for like I think three twenty or something or three fifty, and then by the time they dropped, I I had a t tough time getting them that day. <coughs> I ended up picking one up, but yeah, it was pretty close. Hell yeah! I was saying, don't sleep on these Pringles boots. I'm not. I might even get those for the personal though. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to get get rid of those. Uh, driving and texting <laughs> at red lights. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, they got good storage in those bad boys. For sure. <laughs> you got like a little shed in that in the back of those. All right. That is. All right. Looking like that. And we got, we got the Darwin Low. God, that OG Darwin Low. I wish they would have like at least made one. You know, if they didn't want to do the SB stuff, we were kind of, like, I was kind of talking about, like, with the vulcanized rubber, making it a little, like, more skatable. Like, all they did is, like, chopped, like, chopped this shoe off. Like, there was nothing else done to it. Um, yeah, no, no reconstruction, no retooling, obviously, the, the material. But boy, oh boy, they could have made uh, this a pretty dope skate shoe. And then they, they could have taken basically the design on the Darwin 2. Like if they would have done this SB collab and they could have done something similar with the Jordan 2 and the Jordan 11. Especially the Jordan 11. The Jordan 2 is already flat enough. Like that outsoles, I feel like, already nice and flat for a skateboard. The Jordan 11 is where you're going to have to reshape the outsole a little bit. But I, I think if you would, you know, I, th I think how they did the Wear Max, it was, was beautiful. That, that's a great kind of standard to kind of lead by uh, when it comes to, I mean, at least, you know, bringing out the, the positive things, like especially with the SB. Because the SBs could definitely be like a little bit lighter and a little bit more comfortable, and I think, uh, on the Wear Max, they, they hit it out of the park uh, with not only the comfort, but also the design, the, the board feel, how you sit a lot lower in that shoe. Just a better skate shoe. VP, need the military? But yeah, I do too. I do too. I, you know, I wish I would have secured the bay already because, you know, I wouldn't have probably cared as much. But, yeah, definitely one I got to pick up. Definitely one I got to pick up. Would have been nice to secure. Uh, because we've got so many other stuff coming out in May, you know, but can't win them all. You can't win them all. We'll definitely be putting in that work. Hell yeah. Every time I see the Supreme and <laughs> Darwins, I like them less and less. Yeah, the, it's not, a, I mean, even the first time I saw those, I didn't really 
you know, all the only thing I liked him is because it was Dennis, Dennis Rodman Warren back in the day. Like that was the only connection I kind of had to him. And then I'm like, well, with an SB collab, like, you know, it'll be sweet, but it, it's so lazily done. You know, I do like the camo pair, but they could have made all four of those pairs look fire. For sure, you know, and I don't even really care necessarily about the color. I just, you know, when they do an SB collab, I just want them to be like, like more skatable. You know, that I thought that's kind of like the hybrid uh, when they do those, you know, collabs like they did on the SB4. They put in a lot of work retooling that and remastering it to make it very skatable where... I feel like the Darwin Low, they just, they just didn't do anything. They just cut off the top and then, you know, put a color on it. But with that said, you know, we're still going to be going for that camel pair. <laughs> that camel blouse pair. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll probably go for the Volt colorway, though, just because it'll probably be easier to get our hands on. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, another uh, new Air Max Plus colorway that's going to be coming out. I kind of like the materials on these. They almost remind me of, like, a cactus plant collaboration but not you know of course the full collab i do kind of like the mud uh the mud look on the midsole yeah i, I just don't mind the look of these uh these ones are only going to be dropping it looks like uh for asian markets it's going to be an exclusive uh asia release as well uh but one of the better uh, air max pluses that i've seen since probably that cold wall collaboration or that blue colorway I also really like that one uh, as well. All right. Um, and then popping our window on over, uh, we did look at another colorway of the Kobe 8 Pro Tro. I believe we looked at these on Saturday. Uh, this one is just going to be for the youth. Uh, the Eyeball Edition Kobe 8 is a player exclusive, designed exclusively for participants in the Elite Youth Basketball League. Uh, otherwise known as EYBL. I love the colorways of these EYBLs. I even like when they put the uh, eyeball colorway on the jaw ones. I always just call it the eyeball uh, colorway, but definitely some of the better Kobe's uh, have always uh, been uh, some of those EYBL colorways uh, as well. And definitely uh, with a lot of Kobe 8s going to be dropping in 2024, that's definitely one of the better colorways. For sure. We just got a lot of OG colorways uh, going to be dropping periodically uh, on the Kobe 8 side. Uh, most of our good Kobe shoes uh, will be collaborations. I will definitely point those out uh, when they uh, end up dropping them. We got lots to look forward to, uh, definitely, um, on the Kobe side of things as well. Uh, just pulling up a few colorways. Again, we got the Lakers. Uh, home and away colorways coming, and then we got uh, just some uh, red, gray, and green uh, colorways as well. Uh, Going to be dropping uh, in 2024. Uh, I believe the next good one that we got dropping, we got the uh, the Kobe 8 Mamba Sita dropping on May Day. Um, and we looked at that one a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, the Kobe 8 Mamba Sita is going to be this one. Um, and this one will be dropping on May 1st. And again, we got a ton of good stuff dropping in May. The Mamba Sita. Kind of a dope colorway, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do like the Kobe 6 that dropped a while back a lot better. Speaking of, Vanessa just posted something yesterday. Uh, Vanessa's got a sweet player exclusive Kobe 6. Let's go on over to her Instagram real quick. Check this out, guys. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be dropping as part of our May drop. Again, we got a lot of Kobe 8s. Uh, going to be dropping in 2024. Going to be a big year for Kobe. Uh, for the Kobe uh, sneakers, that is. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and pop down to a couple of our other. Uh, we do got the Ame Leandor. More Ame Leandor 860 colorways coming. Uh, also in May, uh, we got the Travis Scotts, we got the Futuras, we got the Jumpman Jacks uh, dropping in May, as we talked about earlier. Uh, we also got the 11 Space Jams, we got the Shadow Jordan 1 Lows, we got the Latte uh, dropping at the end of May. Uh, we also got the Girl Dads dropping on May 31st. So on May 1st, we got the Mamba Sita, and on May 31st, we got my favorite Kobe of the year. Uh, that's going to be the Girl Dad. 
Now, if there was one must-have Kobe, it definitely the one that dropped it on May 31st. Trying to add that one to the uh, Gift of Mamba uh, Kobe 4 collection that we got uh, as well. Uh, if you guys haven't already done so, cop date, locked and loaded, uh, big money savings. Uh, if you guys haven't already entered, uh, definitely want to get into uh, this one as well. Uh, if you guys are going for these this week. There we go. Uh, Flacco goes... <laughs> <laughs> J Dog goes rare. J Mac, no baby. Big up, J Dog. <laughs> hey, man, we got up right out of bed this morning. <laughs> we didn't have time to put the beanie on. We didn't have time to do much anything else. <laughs> uh, they uh, still had a definitely bed head. <laughs> this is usually what my hair looks like when I don't have a beanie on. It's just, you know, kind of just unmanageable. Uh, but yeah, we do need that spring haircut a little bit. Uh, we're, we're trying to get that beach bod put together, you know. Uh, got a big month coming up. Got summer coming up. So, um, yeah. Well, we'll definitely have to go get her, get her trimmed up a little bit. Get that sporty look back. You know, probably for some of our May drops. Probably trim some of it off and, and sporting her up a little bit. Yeah, you know it. Or we just might uh, leave it growing, you know, party in the back. Business in front. Yeah, might get might get a nice mullet this summer. We'll have to see. <laughs> right. All right. Um, let's go ahead and pop on over. Um, I think we got caught up with that. Talked about the Kobe's. Uh, what do we got here? Did, 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 did we talk about all this? Let's see. We got a uh vinyl archive vans uh collaboration. Here's a couple authentics, guys. I mean, at least if you're going to pick up an authentic, you might as well wait for a nice collaboration. Here, th this is a Rowley. All my Rowley fans. Um, we have a Vans Rowley XLT Vane Line Archive collaboration. It looks like we got them on the authentic, the slip-on, and the Rowley. I wish they would just collaborate on the Rowley every time they did a collaboration. Especially, I want to see a W Taps. Collab on the Vans Rowley. Fire. <laughs> you know, it's super slaying. <laughs> For real. Hey, man, we are we are definitely partying. You know it. Yeah, don't be the puppy, man. We were, we were resting assured last night. All right. All right, yeah. Oh, I thought the firebox was back on. <laughs> Very sure. Yeah, the Vans ones, uh, even that Rowley. Um, haven't seen them in, in too many dark colorways. Um, but, yeah, another collaboration uh, that also uh, is on its way. Uh, then it looks like uh, just some more uh, Mizuno uh, colorways dropping. All right. Um, we got some more uh, Nike Lunar Rome uh, colorways coming. This almost looks like the same colorway as the... Uh, Ame Leondor 990V6 uh, that is going to be dropping around the corner uh, as well. Uh, that one is kind of got that cigar colorway uh, mixed with uh, that kind of off-white color. Very nice colorway uh, as well. Uh, we also got a W Temps 998 uh, also uh, coming out. Laura Piano uh, collaboration. We also have another 990V6. Uh, colorway coming. So a lot of good new balance coming up as well, guys. A lot of good new balance coming up. Absolutely. We got yeah, the Action Brunsons. That's the one I'm most excited for. As you guys know, I don't really quit talking about those bad boys. Uh, but those ones also uh, going to be dropping. And then uh, the Laurel Piana, a 990v6. These ones aren't going to be dropping until August. Those ones aren't supposed to drop till August. So we got a little bit of time. I would like some more 990v6s. Freaking comfortable model. I'd also like to go up a half size. Uh, of course, last week we had the VU uh, New Balance um, 440 uh, drop last week on April 10th. Uh, they've been at most skate shops. Again, really good colorway on the uh, New Balance skate shoe uh, as well. All right. Um, we talked about, again, we got a new silhouette. Uh, coming in 2024 slash 2025. 
Uh, we got the Nike GT Hustle 3 uh, in kind of this black colorway. A good-looking shoe um, just for, you know, a cheap basketball sneaker. Uh, I like it better than probably the GT Hustle 3 or, sorry, the GT Hustle 2. Uh, we saw that new Wimba Miyama colorway on this silhouette. That one was probably the best colorway uh, that I've seen. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we do got another uh, silhouette also uh, coming around the corner. And then on the A6 side, uh, we got a CDG uh, A6 collaboration. We got a couple of them uh, that are going to be coming up uh, in 2024 uh, as well, uh, probably later in the summer. Uh, we also got a Bryant Giles uh, A6 collaboration coming up. Uh, that looks pretty nice as well, at least if you just want something comfortable, uh, and it's got some good colors on that one. All right. Um, I think that is... Oh, also, uh, both of this New Balance made in the USA. Uh, both of these, I believe, drop on uh, the 26th. Yeah, these ones are going to be dropping on the 26th. So next Thursday... A uh, couple of the uh, New Balance uh, 993 and 991 colorways uh, are going to be dropping. Another shoe I'm really looking forward to as well, uh, besides the Wearmax Verde, uh, I'm really looking forward to um, copping that uh, Cortez collaboration. I know those are a little bit harder to get our hands on, um, but this will definitely be another highlight uh, for me as well. Uh, the three colorways that dropped last year were pretty tough to get our hands on. Uh, but nonetheless, it looks like we're going to get a yellow uh, and black colorway uh, is one of the colorways that's going to be dropping. So looking forward to that. Um, and then uh, we also have a uh, Safari New Balance 2002 uh, collaboration also coming up. Uh, lots of good New Balance stuff uh, going to be dropping throughout the year uh, as well. We do got that Union. Uh, field general, they're going to start dropping the field generals, I'm guessing, uh, for the Olympics uh, sometime this summer. Uh, we do got a couple of collaborations, probably the best being the two Union colorways, uh, but we do got a little bit of time before those do go live uh, as well. And then we do got a Carnival uh, A6 GT2160 also uh, coming your guys' way. Last week, there was also a Kiko Kostinov uh, A6 collaboration. Um, I believe there's still some on their site. That shoe is very futuristic uh, for the A6 line. Uh, but the red one's probably already sold out. Yeah, the red one's sold out. Uh, there is still sizes uh, in the uh, blue and white colorway. All right. Um, and then we talked a little bit about some of the SBs. Also next month, we got the J Balvin Jordan 3s. Uh, Going to be hitting our shelves. Uh, the Dior Greenwood uh, SB and the Dior Greenwood Blazer uh, also going to be dropping on the SB side of things uh, this summer as well. I do expect uh, these to drop probably around the same time uh, that the Olympics are going to start, either in late June or early July. Uh, we can expect to see those. Uh, the first collaboration it looks like we're getting uh, is going to be the Futura one, uh, which we've uh, been waiting for for a while. Uh, we do got the uh, friends and family look. Or a sample of them uh, with the toe blue right there. Um, and then, of course, yeah, uh, the friends and family pair of the Future SB uh, also look like uh, going to be coming our way uh, as well. Friends and family one going to be tough to get our hands on. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Have I seen the polka dot New Balance? Yeah, those are fire. <laughs> uh, the um, I'm guessing the 1906. I think it was the 1906. Um, let's go on over to the New Balance. Yeah. Um, I think it was over on New Balance Social Club. Oh, another one I'm really looking forward to is going to be the Cactus Plant Flea Market, of course. Uh, the green and the uh, purple pair there. Green and the purple pair. Must cops for both of those. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to that that drop as well. Even though I don't love Air Force Ones, but I love Cactus Plant collaborations. So I'll definitely be picking picking up a pair of those bad boys. All right, let's go. Oh, fuck. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander at New Balance. Yeah, the polka dots. 
think they're two of this uh, this 740 silhouette. I want them to retro. Let's bust out a couple of these bad boys out of the vault, please. That's a good one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, throw up that one in the background. Yep, we're going ahead and watching that one. All right, should be Gucci. All right, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pop one more uh, window in the background. Over there, appreciate you guys finessing that thumb button, getting us going in that algorithm on a Monday, uh, getting us going, hopping on the good foot, doing the bad thing again. Bish, appreciate the big support. <laughs> Let's go, sending out good luck and good vibes. There we go. All right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave that one up, and let's go ahead and take a look at. Oh man, again the sleigh. Oh man, this is a good one. Water be the guide. Both of these are awesome. The blue one and the, the tan or the brown one. This pack was really sweet. And I think we're seeing similar, like we're seeing really cool materials also on the Action Brunson ones that are going to be dropping soon. Yeah, I love the materials on, on those actions. Those are tough. All right. Yeah, I was looking for the, uh, I thought they were over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here's the green colorway. Um, but yeah, I believe the polka dots right here. They are 1906s. I think those are hard. I like those. A lot of the GR colorways on this 1906. I was watching a couple of the vlogs uh, over the weekend. Uh, over, I believe he was in London, uh, and he went to like End Clothing, and uh, I think he went to. End clothing and offspring, but the end clothing definitely had like probably 20 pairs of these 1906s just in all sorts of different colors that some I had never even seen before, and they just had full size runs like they could just pick up. Yeah, 1906. I definitely got to get a pair. I took an L on that Soleil pair. Uh, I believe the actions uh, are going to be tough for that 1906, but I will definitely give it a rip. I'll definitely give it a rip. We're going all in for those. Absolutely. All right. Uh, what else we got go going on, guys? It's Monday. couple of you guys celebrating that W that you got today. Again, big up, big up on the dub. Bang on those chests a little bit. Congratulations. Uh, well, well deserved. Holy shit. We also had a knockout over the weekend. Dude, a, pi a fight I did not pick. I think I picked uh, Justin Gagey. Uh, to bring home the bacon, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But we got to go over to the big board. Uh, take a quick gander what happened uh, the other night, at least the fight of the night. Uh, let's go ahead and at least show you the knockout. Again, last second. I don't, <coughs> I don't think I've ever seen a fight end like this. There we go. All right, yeah, we popping up our... There we go. Yeah, I don't think I ever saw a fight in in this fashion. So it's not very long. Let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This is in the fifth round, so this is the last round. Uh, there's about um, probably 20 seconds left when this... Scene starts again. They're in round number five, so it's gonna go to a draw unless someone knocks, you know, the other one. Out. That is wild. Here, another angle. So insane. One more time. Dude, this this even got me excited. Oh my Whoa! Stand right here. Oh! Open connection lane! Oh! Let's go! Oh! Get you face first on the canvas! That's how the way wins the BMF title! That's a champion right there. That is 
is legendary. That is legendary. Oh, man, what an epic night. Uh, great for the sport as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, what a night. Yeah. Fucking A. Shout out to Max Holloway. I've never seen um, a fight end at the last second before. Especially on a knockout when I think that's what he needed. Super crazy. Excitement, just out of control. You can just hear it in everyone's voice. Oh, again, on the uh, losing side, definitely a hard L uh, to take. He's going to have to definitely pick him up uh, from this one. But if there is a guy that can do it, Justin Gagey, definitely that guy. Yeah, bad motherfucker for life, <laughs> right? Yeah, no kidding. That was the post. Dude, that was, yeah, that was insane. Hands and heart, though. Right? That takes a little heart in there, too. For sure. <laughs> it's just warrior status right there. Especially just, yeah, digging, just fighting for whatever energy they got left in them. Yeah, it made it work. Even if it would have, like, ended and they wouldn't have had that knockout, you know, it would have still been a super climatic ending. But that was just, I've never seen something like that before. Awesome. Awesome to see, most definitely. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop that one on the uh, background there. I'll uh, turn that one down. Put a little music on so when we break down the set after the show, we can jam out a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to go get, uh, well, either today or tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go get those trucks put on, get my other board set up. Um yeah, now we don't got a backup one, so I might even put an extra board together so I have something to skate in the street with fatter wheels and softer. Because uh, I think I'm going to put 101s. I, I want these little 44 milliliter wheels. Um, They got like a 44 diameter wheel and then like a 48. They're just little, little skate wheels. Um. Spencer had a video of one like two days ago, uh, Spencer Newsy, uh, and he does a great review on those wheels, but I don't have any at our skate shop up here, so it looks like the smallest ones I'm going to be able to get today I think are going to be 51s, but yeah, I definitely got to get a pair, I got to get uh, some of those new wheels. Um God, they're sick. Um, yeah, do, can we even buy them? Do they got them at CCS? I don't know if I if uh, a company's got to give those to me, or maybe I'll just wait and uh, some of our skate shops will start getting them. But I know we don't have any of those small wheels uh, anymore. But um, let me go on over to YouTube. Um, and go over to Spencer. Uh, I just want to go over to Spencer's no, Instagram and see what these little wheels were called. Dude, they're pretty sick. Uh, he already rides pretty small wheels in Gen. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can pull up. Uh, da -da 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 the uh, yeah, I think he sets this one up. I just want to show you guys the wheels real quick. I'll just fast forward it to where he puts the wheels on. Um, but yeah, I wanted something like <laughs> like these little guys. Uh, he's working on the bearings here. Yeah, I don't think he takes them off, does he? Uh, I guess you can kind of. Yeah, um, I don't know. You can just kind of see the the size of them. 
uh, right here. Um, but yeah, they also come a little bit smaller. But yeah, th these are the wheels I want on my. What the heck? What the heck? I was like, that needs some like lube. Um, I don't know if he's got. Yeah, he's. I don't can't remember what video he's got the smaller wheels. Uh, let me just go ahead and pop on over here. I thought there was one more. Uh, yeah, I think it was a different video. Uh, let me go see if I can find it. Uh, no, it was 10 days ago, 12 hours ago. No, I didn't see that. Oh, I just want to pull up these wheels. Sweet. Oh, here it is. Smallest wheels I've ever skated. There they are. Okay. Yeah, these ones. They come in little Magnum cases. Check these out, guys. Oh, yeah, I want a pair of these. I want a pair of these. Check them out. Yeah, these these boardy cakes. Boardy cake wheels. Yeah, boardy cake smallest wheels they make. They're 38. Uh, shout out to Spencer. Uh, big up, Spencer. Yeah, if you guys do want uh, this link, I'll put it also uh, in the uh, chat uh, right now. And you can watch the full video if anyone else is interested in these little guys. Hell yeah. All right, let's go ahead and pop on over here. Okie dokie. Yeah, boom. Um, and then boom. And these are the Magnums. Each wheel comes in its own package. These are literally bearing condoms. So these wheels are going to be going on my C-Rat right here. This is like my curb setup. It's an eight and a half, 14 and a half inch wheelbase by like 32 and a half. I have the Indy Stage 4s on here. And now we're going to put these on it. Yo, these are and sweet. these are like 48 millimeters, so these are already pretty small. But these are going to be 38, so this is 10 millimeters small. Yeah, so he already has 48s, which are already smaller than the wheels I got on my board. But these ones are even uh, four, I think, uh, four meters smaller, millimeters. I love how it's, like, literally individually packaged. Oh. Look at those. Look at these things. You got to see when he actually gets them on his board. Dude, I, I want a pair of these so bad. Think about the, all the different, uh, like, tricks you, you're going to be able to do, not, that, in, not necessarily get hung up on certain copings as well. Oh my goodness, look how little this wheel is. It's just a baby. Oh my goodness. So obviously we're gonna skate some curbs, we're gonna also cakes. do some other things. We'll hit the ledge, the flat bar and whatnot. See some benefits these things have. Dude, I the packaging is, is classic on these bad boys. Looks like you're pulling out a Magnum, but you're just Already, pulling out some- Let me tell you, my board's gonna be so- Some teenies. Lighter with these things on. Oh my goodness. I like can barely even get my hand around it. There's no way. Is that bearing fully in? I guess so. <laughs> These are sick. Oh. I just I bet the board ride. I mean, you definitely would have to be in a skate park to ride. You know, something really, really smooth. You definitely wouldn't want to have these in the streets. You'd be feeling every rock and crack possible. Um, but yeah, I just thought they were kind of neat. Uh, let me go in and uh, where he shows you like the whole board, and then you can see it. Right Combinations there. a lot easier, just because, like I said, there's just less wheel. Look at those. So let's see how these things feel and how they uh, how they work and how they skate. The boardy cakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably have to order them. Our skate shops don't have anything. Like I said, not even in the well, in the forty uh, diameter, uh, the forty millimeter, like forty through fifty. I think fifty or fifty one's the smallest we can get over here. Okay, honestly, like when you're just rolling on them, you don't really realize how small they are. Like it doesn't really feel small just rolling on them. I mean, when you look down, I don't. I mean, I can. Ah! Small for like how small of a wheel I normally ride. All right, I just I just kind of wanted you to show uh, the wheels again. I'll I'll put the link uh, there in the chat if anyone does uh, want to watch the full video if you're interested in it. I definitely encourage you. Uh, check it out if you're looking maybe switching up riding you're getting a little stale want to switch you know switch something up i highly encourage it because i am super interested in those bad boys uh, as well at least at least to be like putting together a, a sit a setup 
<laughs> right. NBA play, baby, and game start tomorrow. Winner go home, baby. Is that tomorrow? Dude, let's let lay, man. Let's let's gear it up. Yeah, before I say goodbye. Before I say goodbye, dude, I gotta see. I don't even know who's the playing. I, I haven't even seen the playing games yet. I bet the Suns better not be in the playing game. <coughs> All right. Yeah, let's go official bracket, baby. Oh my God. All right. Well, the Suns got a. What a fucking. They're playing my fucking hometown team. You can't play the Timberwolves? Come on, dude. <laughs> you can never get a dub out here. What the heck? All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we're kind of gearing up for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to maybe crimp, crimp the hair today. <laughs> going to the mall. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to have to, you know, do the old hair. Do something with it. Maybe put a beanie on it. <laughs> For sure. Won't look as rick rickety. <laughs> Suns clinch six. Oh, Jay. I don't know, but they're playing the Timberwolves. Oh, that's the one matchup. No. Dude, the Timberwolves play good defense. Timberwolves play good defense, and it's even going to get tighter now that we're in the playoffs. But, dude, Kings and Warriors? Dude, when is that? Tomorrow? Oh, and the Pelicans. Dude, the Pelican Lakers. All right, so, yeah, they're going to get. So, the loser will pretty much play. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, that, that little. Just to figure out the L and the W there. But, yeah, the, the Lakers, Pelicans, Kings, Warriors on the outside looking in. And then we got the 76ers, Heat, Bulls, Hawks. Oh, man. Uh, Justin, you really from Minnesota? I'm from North Dakota. I'm from North Dakota, but Minnesota's like our closest uh, professional team. <laughs> For sure. So kind of grew up as a Vikings and Timberwolves fan. You kind of got to. <laughs> For sure. You know, and then when I went to Arizona State, when I went down to college, that's kind of when I started be becoming a Suns and Diamondbacks fan. So I always got like a special place in my heart for those teams. And then, of course, growing up, I always had a lot of hate, more or less, for the Vikings and Timberwolves because they always let us down each and every year. But <laughs> still got love for them. I'm not going to lie. Hell yeah. The Flacco goes, boo! LeBron, McCall <laughs> Lakers, though. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I want the Pelicans to just be, just throttle them. <laughs> uh, pinky's up. <laughs> the Pels? I mean, the Pels are looking good at the beginning of the year. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be really fun to watch. I'm not, I mean, the Kings and Warriors, I just, I don't want to see one of those teams not make it. I want to see the Pelicans make, well, the Lakers, yeah. The Lakers, I don't think are, all right, like, but who knows. The, dude, the Clippers-Mavs game is going to be insane. Don't don't sleep on the Mavericks. Don't sleep on the Mavericks. I mean, especially, I mean, if Paul George comes to play like he led the Clippers when they didn't have Kawhi, uh, I believe it was last year. I mean, if he can, if he can play that good, Two of the Clippers are going to be tough, too. You know, but Westbrook, another question mark. But, you know, they also got different roles on the team. Uh, I think they're going to be a dangerous team. You know, Thunder, number one seed. What? OKC with the most draft picks? Oh, man. OKC is going to be good for the next, like, 20 years. Literally. They don't have to waste any of those draft picks uh, drafting someone. They could probably spend two. Like, they probably literally have... 12 good draft picks over the next four years. He's just been cleaning house over there. I mean, they took all of, uh, first of all, when they uh, made the KD trade way back in the day, then when they eventually, yeah, they got rid of everyone. What was it, last year or two years ago? They've been getting trade capital each and every year, slowly but surely. Uh, and they, they didn't have to waste it, you know, going for a big a big player. <laughs> Hell yeah, you rooting for the Suns this year? Um, I th unk. 
Uh, Unk is definitely rooting for the Suns. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, a big Suns fan, but, I mean, I, I the Timberwolves, I, I, you know, my heart just still loves the Timberwolves. That's, that's a shitty 3-6 matchup for me. I'm going to be happy no matter who wins, but, <laughs> yeah. I'll probably be wearing uh, one Suns jersey. I got Timberwolves. I don't have any Timberwolves jerseys, but I got uh, Timberwolves shorts. And then I got... Uh, yeah, Suns. Yeah, maybe wear the Suns jersey with the Timberwolves shorts. It's gonna be one of those. <laughs> uh, P P G. Yeah, he definitely came through in the clutch. <laughs> it was balling for sure. Man, this is gonna be great playoffs on the East. The East is gonna kind of suck. I'm not excited at all about the East. I'll watch all the West games. I mean, I mean, nothing looks more boring than a Cavs Magic four five. Bucks Pacers, uh, you know, um, call me when when the you know when that one's got the final two teams. Maybe I'll watch it. Yeah, but the Heat and Seventy Sixers. I mean, can you imagine that's a play-in game, dude? If the Seventy Sixers take an L this year, I mean, where are they gonna go, dude? If the Seventy Sixers lose the play-in game, I can guarantee. Well, they're gonna have to lose two games to get out of the playoff spot because they're going to have to lose to the Heat and then they'll have to lose to the the winner of 9 and 10. But I guarantee you if the 76ers lose, Joel Embiid is going to come and be a Phoenix Sun or a Timberwolf. Well, the Timberwolves got rid of most of their draft capital. You know who could afford them? The Thunder. The Thunder could actually use Joel Embiid and they have the draft capital to easily get him, and I believe Joel Embiid can walk, so they won't. He wouldn't even have to. Uh, there's a lot going on this summer, definitely. Yeah, Philly got. Uh, I mean, hold them down. That's crazy. If they, if you know, he ends up leaving there, I would. Yeah, you think Jimmy can make it back to the finals? Not this year, I don't think. Um, no, I definitely believe in Jimmy, but I mean, this year, I I just think there's better teams than last year. Last year, they kind of had a miracle ride. I mean, they were playing tough, but, you know, it also kind of opened up for them as well. Um, the seeding helped them. But this year, I, I just think there's better teams. They're going to run into more problems. And, um, yeah, I mean, if, if the Celtics can't make it out this year, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it, it's looking like a fun time. <laughs> they should have lost to it. Ronald School, what are they doing? They gave AI a fucking little trophy. That's like a participation trophy. What are we doing here? His head was like the size of like a fucking apple. Oh, man. Yeah, we showed video of that yesterday. Oh, man, it was awful. Yeah. Yeah, you hope that, you know, uh, they can give him something a little bit better than that, right? Fucking a, um, yeah. Let's see if I still got the the the, the sculpture. Speaking of Saint uh, Saint West, Kanye's uh, son also hit a a buzzer beater as well. We can take a look at that, and then we'll we'll probably head out from there. But let me go ahead and uh, uh, pop on over here, and then yeah, we got the. <laughs> The small statue, right? Look at the size of this thing. The only thing AI can do is, like, pat the head. He doesn't know what to think. <laughs> well, well, we on a recess. Yeah, no kidding. Shit. Fuck it, eh? I feel it every time I go to the damn grocery store. Just eating less and less, I feel like. <laughs> right? Uh, who needs $25 chicken? I'll just get another six-pack. Yeah, government on and pull. They need to fucking go on one. That's for sure. Oh, kidding. Yeah. Yeah, all the old people <laughs> just grew. Uh, now that we're getting in our adult life, they just left us with like a 30-some trillion dollar debt. Like, <laughs> thanks to all the, <laughs> all the older people <laughs> leaving the country in good shape. For sure. Yeah, we'll take it over from here. A lot of work, that's for sure. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, more like an AI bobblehead. <laughs> Jay, yeah. <laughs> Certainly. But man, AI, man. One of my favorite basketball players of all time. 
That time they went to the or there was a couple. I think they went to two championships when they went against the or one against the Lakers, and it was just AI and Dikembe Mutombo. And even Dikembe was like you know probably like the thirtieth or probably like you know best center in the league. But man, he dude, it was just fun to watch him. It was just he was just so fun to watch. If you love basketball, most certainly. And then yeah, let's go uh, go on over and see uh, Kobe's son. Or sorry, not Kobe's son, Kanye's son. Uh, let's see him putting in the buzzer beater. This reminds me when I was a, a little rascal out there. I think when I was in fourth grade, I hit a buzzer beater from the half court line. I mean, it was those like old small gyms where the half court is probably like more closer to, to like the three point line. I fucking swished a half quarter, but then I got called for traveling because I was so little at the time. You know, I took all my energy, so. I just picked it up and probably took four or five steps, cashed it in. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, they fucking called it back. I started crying a little bit. <laughs> I was pissed. Yeah, anyways. All right. Um, oh, shit. I haven't seen the, the new uh, Luca 3. Uh, we got a new look at the, at the Jordan Luca 3. Okay. They kind of look like the Tatums. Almost like the Tatums and the Nocta. That new Nocta shoe that just came out. Uh, that kind of has like the, that orange one. You know, the Nocta. It kind of looks like a cross between the two. Um, but I did like the Luca too. I definitely liked how the colors they put on it. Uh, I liked them definitely better than the Tatums. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mesh up between that and then the, the Jason Tatum Jordan, uh, which is, I believe, the Tatum 3. Yeah, this one. Doesn't it kind of look like a mesh up of the two shoes? <laughs> Shit. He's him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, Lakers win it all this year. <laughs> ben Austin Reeves. Dude, I'm telling you, playoff playoff Austin Reeves is different. I will give you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not with Braun on the team, though, man. Yeah, they're going to run in. I think they're going to run into some problems. I just think they're, you know, and especially Anthony Davis. Just you never know what you're going to get out of him. And, you know, LeBron getting older in age. It's going to be a tough one for him. going to be a tough one. I can't wait, though. Can't wait. Uh, to me, basketball playoffs are the best in, like, professional sports. They're my favorite. Even better than the Super Bowl. I like a game seven in a best of seven series, in my opinion, is, is it, nothing gets better than that. Nothing gets better than that. I grew up with, like, the 2006 Suns when they had Amari, Stoudemire, Nash, um, Rasha Bell, um, G Leandro Barbosa. Um, but yeah, that team that ended up making it to the Western Conference Finals two different times and losing to the fucking Spurs and Phil Donahue, who was the ref that ended up getting busted for betting on sport. Oh man, I was at all those games. Only time I've ever been to a playoff, um, game or games in my life. And dude, it was some of the best. I like playoff basketball is the best for sure. Even if you got shitty tickets, just, you know, being in the environment, really good time. I'm big fan, big fan. All right, what else we got, guys? Um, yeah, I think that's gonna probably uh, the whole Spurtula, They killed, they killed us, and then won the last game. Uh, he suspends Steve Nash, and then for them, they suspended Bruce Bowen. Bruce fucking Bowen. Like, how did how is that fair? Right, you suspend our best player, and then Bruce Bowen for Game Seven. Or actually, it was game six, and then we went into game seven and lost. It was, yeah, it was no bueno. J Mac, uh, am I hitting or quitting? Ness? Uh, we'll keep it, we'll keep it, uh, we'll keep it nice and loose. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Now she's beautiful. Kobe picked a good one. You know it, but let's go, yeah, let's pop her up real quick. No Diddy. No Diddy. 
Um, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that Panda? Is Panda got another? Cl- oh, no, it's the Harachis. We don't give a shit. Yeah, we don't care about those. I don't know. They actually, they don't look as bad. I'm not going to lie. This mustard colorway, I'm not a big uh, a Harachi fan, but you know, I'm not really a Jordan 7 fan either, kind of the evolution of the shoe. But um, this one I didn't like at first. Maybe I'm just kind of desperately <laughs> wanting to cop something, but I don't mind those. I don't mind that colorway. Maybe for just a comfy shoe. There we go. Yeah, there's Reb. All right. All right, Bam Bam. What do we got here? 500 single arm, 40 pound headshot? Shit, right here. This is the Viking shit. The old hammer throw right here. You know it. Getting that shoulder ready. There you go. Loosen it up a little bit. Shit, 4,500. Probably good for the motion. Yeah, but we, we are waiting for that New Balance collaboration, boys and gals. Uh, we'll definitely let you know uh, when that one also hitting our shelves uh, as well. Yep, there we go. Uh, what do we got? Little Yachty, first look. Air Force, oh, another concrete, boys. All right, well, you heard it here first. Dude, this is where it's at. If you're going to do collabs on the Air Force One, let's put some patent leather on those bad boys. Let's bring it back to the early 2000s and really really make them pop. The concrete boys, I didn't like the first two colors I seen, but this is more my style right here. This is a cop for me. The cactus plant flea markets will cop, and this one <laughs> will take. Uh, Lick New York City locked and loaded. Uh, big money savings, I'm guessing. Uh, appreciate it, Flock. Appreciate the heads up. There you go, guys. Here you go. Big release details. Big money, no problem. Big money, no problem. There we go. Yeah, we getting in there. Uh, online and in store, guys. There we go. Yeah, I'll even go ahead and put that one. All right there in the uh, chat in case anyone uh, does need the ship to me option. And doesn't have a local SB shop. Yeah. Uh, those Pata 7s was a sleeper, in my opinion. Ooh, yeah. The, one of the better 7s. What do you think about these, Dalil? Yeah, just the Pata in general. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and pop it up here. That's something different. Um, but, yeah, I do not have the Pata Jordan 7. Do not have that one. I do like, uh, I don't love the sevens, but that is one of the better colors for sure. For sure. But look at Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah. Latinos are, are the best. For certain. Dude, look at the shoes she got on, though. Dude, that's a great Kobe 6. <laughs> that's a great Kobe 6 right there. White and black. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. That's a good colorway, boy. We got some good Kobe's coming up. You're going to be a, a New Balance and, and a Kobe month, or Kobe year. I think we're going to end up copping a lot of Kobe's this year, New Balance, and a couple SB's. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know it. Hey, I, I never bite off more than I can chew, though. That's the good news. I never bite off more than I can chew. ha. <laughs> Uh, good day. Sharing, scaring. Uh, lapstone and hammer also locked and loaded. Let's get it. What do we got over at Lapstone? All right. Uh, and hammer. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop up here. All right. I think that is uh, about. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the releases uh, over here. Oh, shit. They got. Uh, also, the Joe Fresh Goods. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the Joe Fresh Goods. Uh, also going to be dropping, I believe, on Friday the 19th. Uh, but they're only dropping the, the Black Ice pair. In case you guys uh, didn't get your JFG uh, when they dropped. Unfortunately, I took the L. Like, I've been taking a lot of L's lately. 
Uh, got some new lunar. Uh, we looked at a couple new lunar uh, Rome colorways uh, as well uh, earlier in the stream today. Hell yeah. Let me go ahead and pop our window. All right. Uh, definitely. Uh, we do got, it looks like, a couple Kayanos. Yeah, a couple grade school sizes of the Italian camo. Um, but they are sold out now. Looks like Soul Play Atlanta uh, did drop a couple sizes over on their site as well. Uh, let me just take one more look at the uh, uh, monitor here. Uh, look like End Clothing does have 20% uh, off uh, most styles uh, over there. So if you haven't checked out End Clothing, they do got some good deals. Uh, as well, Extra Butter New York. Uh, Extra Butter New York, I believe, is doing an in-store uh, version. Let me double-check. Again, big money savings. Uh, if you do have a local SB shop, I would just tap into it. There were a lot of them that were first come, first serve this morning. Uh, and if they aren't first come, first serve, your a local shop will definitely let you know what you can do to either get a pair or put in for the raffle. Uh, this one, let me just double-check to make sure. Uh, it is not just a in-store raffle. Yeah. Um, I believe this is for everybody. Yeah. I'm guessing this one's got delivery options as well. Uh, extra butter. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the chat. You know it. Got another big money raffle I'm back. <laughs> Is it the extra butter? I think I might be putting it in. We might be doing it at the same damn time. <laughs> uh, but no, there's this one and then I believe one more. Uh, yeah, the Lake New York City. Um, and uh, extra butter again. I don't know if this does ha deliver. Um, but I, I definitely can open up another extra butter window uh, just to... Uh, see the uh, releases tab. Usually it tells us in here. Uh, there we go. Damn, we got the, the veneer raffle. No, that one's not up. They they are going to be dropping on the 25th, though. If you were not able to get the veneers on any of the raffles last week, uh, it looks like you got a couple more opportunities to pick those bad boys up as well. Um, but, yeah, it does look uh, like they do have the delivery option on that bad boy. 24, about 26 hours. You know it, EQL raffle. That's smoke puff clouds in the chat. There we go. My boys getting the info for you guys here first. Appreciate you guys putting in that round-the-clock work, baby. And all the information, you got it. Yeah, definitely get in there. You guys heard it here first. Yep. When were those um, flea markets uh, drop? We don't know yet. Uh, we don't. I'm guessing they'll probably drop around those, like the Concrete Boys Air Force ones. We got the Cactus Plant Flea Markets. I'm guessing they'll probably drop before the Olympics. I would guess. Uh, like my big, my guess would be between May and June. Uh, we got two colorways of the Cactus Plants, and then we do got those Concrete Boys uh, collaborations as well. That Travis Scott Cactus Plant Flea Market Nike Air Force one. It looks like that was just kind of a one of one, um, but. Uh, that would also be a, pr a pretty cool collaboration as well. Uh, last month of uh, second grade for my daughter. And, oh, yes. In the middle of moving. Busy month. Damn. You're moving, Vu. Nice. Well, damn. Wish you uh, the best of luck doing that. I know that is. Um, well, I'm kind of been <laughs> like not wanting to do it as well. And I, I know I got to do it in the next probably two years. Uh, as well, just kind of playing it by ear. Hell yeah. Last uh, last month for the second grader. Then she's going to be a third grader. <laughs> Hell yeah. Probably, yeah, probably nerve-wracking for her too. Definitely prayers are with you guys. I wish you and your family uh, the best of luck on the move as well. Let us know if we can, you know, do anything when the time comes or help you with anything, even though we're tons of miles away. Um, but if there is anything else uh, that we can definitely help you with, uh, we're all here uh, as well. Would love to help out if I can. Uh, when were those Air Force One flea market? Uh, oh, yeah, we heard that. <laughs> Jesus. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. That's what I think I need right now. Reading the same thing over and over. 
Heck yeah. Yeah, nice little morning this morning. Nice little pick-me-upper. Glad you guys could be here. Appreciate you guys coming by, stopping in. Always means the world to me. Again, congratulations going out to all the W's uh, as well. There were quite a few of them. Uh, or not quite a few of them, but at least on the <laughs> on the Jackie Robinson side, we had more than one, uh, which is always good to see. So big up on the W's as well. Uh, we definitely going to keep, uh, hopefully, keep those W's coming in. Uh, of course, Thursday, also going to be a big day. we got the Supreme Drops, and then as we head into the weekend, uh, things should definitely heat up a little bit. Uh, also, guys, got today, tomorrow, definitely, if you do want that Nike SB, uh, enter in as many of those raffles. Uh, keep an eye on the raffle section. Uh, if you're not already in the Discord, uh, let me go ahead and uh, give you guys the Discord link uh, as well. I don't think I put one uh, in the video description, but I'll do it after uh, we say goodbye here. Let me go ahead and uh, pop one uh, in here. Uh, if anyone does want to be part of the uh, Discord family, we'd love to see you guys in there. Uh, again, great sneaker community. We help each other get W's. Great place to show your W's, drip picks, all that good stuff as well. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and pin that one. Uh, on the top. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to, are you moving? Are you moving out of, are you moving far? Like, are you moving, you're not moving states, are you? Sheesh. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and open up that one and then put the, uh, the link there on the top, our Discord link, and then that will be pinned. I'll also put one underneath the video description in case anyone is ghost-watching the stream or just watching a little bit later uh, in the day. I'll also have that link in the video description for you guys uh, as well. Boom, boom. All right, bada-bing, bada-boom. There we go. Yeah, we'll pin the Discord link. Perfect. All right, uh, what am I doing after? Um, Today I am... At least after this, I'm um, going to, I got a couple errands I got to go run. Um, and then I was going to go, um, I think, put my uh, deck together. Um, and then we were going to go do some skating if, if it stays nice out today. Um, I believe, yeah, if it doesn't get too windy. I know it was a little bit windy, but um, yeah, either today or tomorrow. I kind of had today and tomorrow. Um reserved for the same thing. I don't bartend uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so uh, we don't have to do anything at night uh, at least. Uh, so that'll be kind of nice. Hell yeah. yeah. Don't have to deal Don't have to deal with the drunks tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Still in Cali. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, then you don't have to drive too far. For sure. Staying, staying with that beautiful weather. <laughs> Very understandable as well. All right, guys, I love you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out again. Congrats uh, to everyone that gave the Ws. I love you all. Uh, take care. Until the next one, no drama, just comments. It's been your boy, J-Mac. Whoop, whoop. I can't take no loss. Huh. I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Drip Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Uh. Look at my racks, feel like Serena went here from the back. Sweet. <sighs> yeah. Say what to me, I know the king, follow his lead, repeat after me. I know they lurking, this serpent, this serpent, but I never worry, cause he got the keys, he let it bleed. Never put me on the freeze, just look at how you spin it to me. It'll be out of right after I see. You can't make the promise unless you the king. Jay with a baby, I am what he made me. No, you cannot save me, so it's for the birds. Buy for a price, you ain't know what it's worth. He not letting go like it's grandma's purse. Rolling with heavy, he feeling kind of discouraged, cause he feeling down in the dirt. I told him heavy, you only need faith, cause yes, you were already did all the work. Life or death, this life is best. I'd rather see the vision complete instead of the speed to find regret. You gotta breathe so you can be free, so you never need the ice and checks. This be my plea, I lost my debt. I got a cheese, I found a flex. I got a B, I got a Bree, I got a Bree.
might drive, keep it moving, hit the gas. On to the next, play no dwelling in the past. Yeah. It's unusual how pain can make you clap. Pain can make you, uh, uh, pain can make you breathe. We on the way, talk about legacy, legends right next to me. Don't need it, check out the AG and Addy. Come with the beef and we serving the patties. Check out the verbs if it's getting chatty. You gotta move, but ain't gotta prove that you out in the front. You do what you do when you ain't got a stunt. Cause humble is up in the proud, got a punt. Four to ten, if you wanna win, best put me in. I got the shooters that's ready to spin. They come with the king and he know how to win. He come to your team and he do it again. Rain to sleep, when the sun is at its peak. Gotta keep moving my feet until my journey is complete. Capiche? Be never gonna let any up get the best of me. Thought it was distance, but haters is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss, cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, red like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promise that's meant for me. I know the enemy and that he sent for me. I keep the blood of the lamb as my centerpiece. I cannot trust in no crystals or energy. Look at the chemistry, it do not even mix chemically. Most of the tricks they be gimmicks, they mimic the truth. It's poison, and we got the remedy. Uh, there is a bomb, apply it. The fire can stand to the tallest of giants. The tyrant and all the suppliers are scheming and lying. They selling these dreams and we buying it. Uh, show me the chicken, I'm frying it. Uh, show me the dough and I'm prying it. Uh, ain't never lacking it, so what I'm packing, he taking it, he magnifying it. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I just know that I'ma get it. 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 Ayy, I got the drive to bust the truck. The gas is stuck. I ain't the one to rely on the luck. I put in work and then he show up. I know it's faith that's in the reps. Ain't no regrets. I do too much. It ain't me if you see and I stunt. He calling the place and I do what he want. This ain't a front. Glory to G-O-D. It's what you could do with a mustard seed. It's what you could do when you start to believe. Take fear and you cast it inside of the sea. A hundred percent out of me. Cause he gave it all on the T when he let it bleed. So what is you saying to me? You just insecure about the love that turned me to a beast. I take a step and I ain't turning back. He made me first cause I know that I'm last. I ain't got time for no thing in the past. Learn from it first and then I react. Hands off me, don't hold me. Get it jumping like a trampoline. All truth ain't no trolling. We in good hands, no folding. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But God did it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. 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 I just know that I'ma get it. 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 I got the recipe, never go.